All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to start one of the most highly anticipated games of 2024, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is part two of the remake. And hopefully part two of a part three trilogy, because I'm after three, I don't know. I don't know if I can keep going. I just, a trilogy is good. Um, if you care about spoilers for a 20 year old plus game, you're free to leave. You've been warned. Let's get it. My stream title's crazy. No, it's real, man. Let's go into the options real quick. Difficulty normal. Camera graphics performance first. I need to turn down the audio. I will. Wait, who dies again? Barack Obama. Uh, Sephiroth is evil. Spoiler. What's the bonuses? On the side, I'll check save data. Saved it. See, look, look, look. Who said that in the chat? I just proved you wrong. You can delete the demo. It checks your save data because it's saved in the cloud, guys. Technology is a beautiful thing. So you can delete the demo off your hard drive, guys. All right, new game. Let me start recording. Never played this before. Is it a classic? Yep. I love the last remake. Uh, controls do default. Wireless controller speaker. Turn that shit the fuck off. Normal. Combat. It's like which type of combat for those who want to have a complete control over their actions. Oh, ill no. Ill, y'all playing on automatic? Yeah, I turned the controller audio the fuck off. Let's get it. Yo, this game is loud. Turned it down, so fuck yeah, IMAX ass game. <laughs> Let's go! Rebirth! Fucking host! I just realized my ducking was never on the entire time. Fuck these hoes! <laughs> I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Call of Duty as sound design. And part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction. Oh no. By a massive tornado which swept through sector zero. Loudest game of the year goes. Two. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be quote weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu Tai. The Wu Tai? Investigations into the matter. I have no clue what's going on. Catch me up. Shinra Corporation, Eagle, evil eco-terrorist corporation. You're here to stop him. There you go. That's like a very simplified version of it. As you can see, they're causing all types of destruction and shit. Looks like Cleveland. Nah, it's too many buildings. This looks more like Detroit, like right around the time that the automobile industry collapsed. When jobs started to leave. Or like Gary, Indiana. Yeah, but there's too many buildings. This can't be Cleveland. Cleveland niggas live in mud huts and they look like, they look like super mutants. 2012 Detroit? Nah, I was thinking like 1980s Detroit. This is what the city would look like if it never drafted Cade Cunningham. Never stopped the Cleveland standard. It's part of the lore at this point. Okay, so this is the very ending. This is the ending of the remake, guys. This is Zach. He's got a big Gengaga. <laughs> a big fat Gengaga. Let's get it. That's fire. The game picks up exactly where it ends. Of 
support. At least they want to chip back in the 80s. Yeah, because you were allowed to play defense back then. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It the fall of the Sector 7 plane. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains... It How's the audio in the game? Is it too loud? I turned it down. The game looks good, though. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one so you're right. Ex soldier armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex soldier armed with a buster sword. Oh shit. Put a target on my head. Back over here. That's him. The black man. The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Where's the bikini at? Quick, get the camera off him. Come on, this way. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Just first note: if you did not play Final Fantasy VII Remake Part One, this shit is probably confusing as fuck. <laughs> This, this is like when I say this is literally picking up exactly where the last game left off. I would highly recommend you play the first game if you haven't played this one. <laughs> yeah, because you would have no context of what's going on. We just got done doing some terrorist shit. <laughs> what up, Aaron? So Rebirth isn't exactly like the original. Nah, they changed it. Like, apparently, Zack wasn't in. With Zack pulling him out, me. that wasn't in the original. Look after my friend? That's why people are excited. They're changing the story. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! How's he supposed to hide the Buster Blade? Yeah, he could pull a P. Diddy. You know you could shove it. There's multiple timelines and shit in the remakes, pretty much. Remake and rebirth can be misleading. What do you mean? Let me hit these boxes and stuff. I can't even swing my sword. Tutorial time! Thoughts on the graphics? Looks good to me. And I'm on performance mode. Boom, boom. That transition was fire. You know it. Rebirth is very on brand for what's going on. I agree with it because they changed the storyline. So like rebirth makes sense. Be advised the next soldiers working with him. This game is so fucking loud. So the bullshit coming. Who's the dark headed dude? It's Zach. My first fight. Come on. Get away from her. He's got a buster sword. <laughs> they think we're terrorists. Woo! Good gaga. Do I not have my abilities yet? Nope. Zack pulling up. <laughs> Big air combo. <laughs> Shot to Selly with the sub. Band hammer. 600! That's me banning niggas in the chat. Let's go. Come on, let's get it. Man, I just took a helicopter down. What y'all about to do? Nope. Do that. 
Ow. All right, buddy. Give me my abilities. I think in the OG games, this section was just a flashback. What you saving for her, for her anyway? We know what's going to happen to her. <laughs> Might as well get it started early. Thank you. Good boy. Say you terrible. Where's the agent? I don't care what nobody say. That dog is black. Just shut the hell up. Or cat, whatever the hell he is. He got the Michael Jordan uh, hoop earring, so he black. This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. What up, Die Hard? Did I wear hoop earrings? Nah, it's not my cup of tea. They're both soldiers wor worthless. That's why. What happened to her? She was a part of the terrorist attack. They took damage when the buildings collapsed. Yes, Die Hard it is. All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. it five, years, five ago. years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with seven. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. The Fall of a Hero, Chapter 1. What up, JP? It's really coming down, huh? Hey, man. Feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. I'm not surprised, JP. You know people don't care. People pick and choose what they want to be mad about. Yeah, you bet. Neither Gran Torino. They get more powerful through the power of friendship. It's, the game's a shonen. Gengaga. Gengaga. Like Gengaga. Hey. Rain it in. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first. What do they do? Call a ceasefire with Mutai. Stealing my shot at glory. Yeah, to play the remake, to play this one? Uh, to understand it? Yes. I joined up so I could be a hero. Like you. Hmm. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. Uh, fine. That dog's name is Cloud. True, true, true. Where is it? I feel like Tifa's a name that's like fairly normal. Like if you wanted to give your kid like a nerd name, like you had a daughter, I feel like you get away with Tifa. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our twelve. Let's go. Naming my kid Gungaga, you're wildin'. Just say it's short for Tiffany or some shit, right? Big ass demon balls. Let's get it. You take one, 
I'll take the other. Yo, shout out to XGG with the sub. Appreciate it. Oh, jeez. Big yarn. Look at you hating, Siggy. Like Queen Latifah. <laughs> yeah, you can name your daughter Latifah and then call her Tifa for short. That's fucking funny. short for Megatron. I get the beast, Everoth? Yeah, this shit was in the demo, though, wasn't it? This is a flashback scene. He <laughs> said so this is made compared to the up. So you just be hating on everything. The fact that I know it, Tifa. I thought you could skip this. He was in a different league from the rest of us. I thought you could, too. Like, it detected I beat the demo. You can? How I skip this, then? Talking about the cutscenes or the gameplay. Like if cause this is all from the demo. If I could just skip all this shit, that'd be fucking great. If I hit skip, is it just gonna cut the skip? You can skip once you get to the mountain. Okay. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor. And the whole I like how you stream. I like how you stream, boy. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Only made things worse. I like how you do your stream, boy. People Real scared, good. Desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. Can we keep the horniness down in the chat? Tifa need to keep the close up. Yo, fucking relax. Jesus Christ. I'm just saying, bro. Up res, this is looking nice. Home sweet home, right? More close ups. Go to horny jail. Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel? So I, would know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Sephiroth was a. Um, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there. Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting... Do y'all care if I skip these cutscenes? I kind of don't want to... We already beat the fucking demo. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking mm. about this? Come on. Let's skip, go. skip, 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 skip. Kinda, I kind of want to skip this shit because this is all from the demo. Just get to the gameplay. I want to get past this part. Uh, yep, open the menu. Yeah, da, 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 da. If you want to skip, that's fine. I don't really know what's going on regardless. Let's see, save. You can't skip the gameplay. So you don't want to um, do the piano? Nah, I'm good off that. Damn, like it's making you play this shit. How's it going? Whoa, they have soldiers. Uh, you people, oh, beware. Here. Did, 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 did. Later, you can. Okay. Um, the survey team is the then I stopped on my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure, it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. I've seen a video of somebody playing Dr. Dre on the piano. Yeah, you could literally do anything on that thing. Get through this part before your first fight. You get an option to skip the demo fights. Can I do it now? Make sure you're prepared for a tough fight tomorrow. Explore the. Oh. You would have thought, like, when you booted this up because it detected you beat the demo, you could just skip all of this shit. I shouldn't have to do this. Yep. 
inch over several. What up, Ziggy Sexual? Yeah, I thought they were gonna do what 16 did. They said, oh, you gonna play this shit. Goodness. Is that you, clown? Yeah, that's my body. You see me, bitch. Talk to him. It's all coming back to me. Skip. Yeah. The rest. Didn't really notice at the time. But looking well, at least y'all know if you haven't played it yet. When you boot it up, if you've already played the demo, just skip the fucking cutscenes, bro. To get past this shit. Oh, I didn't skip that. Okay, we're in the mountains. Cool. Tifa's got her cowboy outfit on. Cowgirl. Yeehaw. Need some box. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put I like how it has the credits on the side. I've seen a few reactors in my time. But none. We're making it. It's an adventure, guys. Oh, yeah. Everyone, eventually. Tifa been listening to Beyonce. True. All over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Man, that, that deer got some ups. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Uh, I thought the world would be more colorful. We're, we're in an opening area, bro. It's not an indication of the entire game. I've seen footage of much more colorful areas. Not even close to burned out. I think I think it's just this area. <laughs> you can relax, bro. Bro, the credits are rolling. Fucking relax. <laughs> yeah, the map is huge. Hello, chill. The game just started. Where are the damn mountains? Dude? It just feels like a disappointment already. Like, I thought it would be colorful. Did y'all play Blue Dragon? I did. Underrated RPG for uh, the Xbox. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? That, and there was another one on the Xbox 360. I wish I could remember the name of I it. I think I got this. Then they're all yours. I used to love it. Copy that. Let's get it. It's on now. Change the stance to give him a stagger. Ow. Feeling the pressure. Now let's stagger him. Yeah. Let's finish this. Oh, that's weird. I didn't need to do this fight. This is how it's going to be. Yo, shout out to Crash Goods. Thank you. We can skip the demo. Hold up, y'all. Let me let me get a me get some food. Sucks. That's what's up, bro. Right. Players who complete the demo can skip to the Mako investigation. Let's do it. I don't want to play the demo. I already beat it, bro. I want to get to where the story picks up. Doesn't surprise me. Killer Frost. Frost whereabouts, we gotta find them. 
I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Is this right before he like betrays everybody, or did he already do it? Where did the demo send me? Cause I thought the mayor dies. I was gonna bug him. Right before? Okay. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he. Yo, shout out to Rashawn with the sub. Too much exposure to This is a new scene, which is why they don't let you skip it. Ah, okay. If you're looking for Severon, I saw him headed toward the mansion. What up, Ab? Severon wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Wait, so you gotta do that slow ass walking again? Unfortunately. <laughs> and older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the show us the protein bar. Oh, you don't need to see it. It's made of 100% organic booty. I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick? He needs our help. Yes. Him? A little Mako injury isn't gonna hurt a living legend. You gatekeeping? Yep. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> Sephiroth, where are you? Booty bar, I tell you. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. He was reading books and shit and learning his true destiny. You gonna play Tekken afterwards? I don't know about that. I don't know. My schedule's gonna add to that. I gotta run some errands. We gotta go to Costco. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You can message me on Discord, right? Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Man, that's about taking like this game at hundred hours. See, that's why I can never be like really good at fighting games because you gotta require, you gotta. It, Invest a hundred million hours. Ain't nobody got time for that. Be playing Final Fantasy. Excavated from a two thousand year old rock layer. Life form in stasis. Professor Gast. Yeah, nigga, we know you evil. He discovered his true destiny. Get in there. The need your help. You got it, boss. They gonna make me walk. Oh my god. This is what you call a convenient injury. They injured my man, so we had to slow walk and listen to everything. Take in all the graphics. He betrayed the Gungaga, the Gungaga army. Shout out to Wavy with the sub, appreciate it. He pulled his hamstring. That's what the game wants you to think. He actually pulled his uh, tailbone. His butt hurts. Did he? Hold on, I'm, I'm coming. Right, right, right. Did he get a cramp? I meant to finish that sentence. Y'all didn't. I didn't mean P. Diddy. I meant Diddy get a cramp. I forgot what I was going to do here. Can he not jump up?
Like the objective's over there. What the fuck? Do we go around? Looking like Meek in that pool. Almost there. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Diddy gave him the limp. No, I would. I would never say that. <laughs> they dragging this shit. Final Fantasy 16? No, it's 7. Final Fantasy 16, uh, it would have been a cutscene right now. Oh, this is a pseudo cutscene. Now you can jump. Now your hamstring works. That's some of y'all in Helldivers too. Tell my mom I love her. I'm not making it off this planet. Up in here, it's burning hot. We on fire. Hey, 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 you there. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry, I got you. Come on, let's get stabbed. You <laughs> How could you do this? You're a monster. Sufferer. The audio keeps cutting out. It's the game. Why they even talking to him? He burned the whole village down. Just shoot. Let a man with a sword beat you when you got guns. I don't want to do this. I know you killed half of my friends, but I don't want to do this. Stop. <laughs> Got the Gucci belt on. later cowboy burn it all wait for me I'm coming and my time. He's the hardest villain in video game history. How do you know how hard Sephiroth is, uh, Squid? 
How you know how hard he is? <laughs> Got a good grip on it. I could tell. He said, I'm not even waiting for his time. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Shut up, Ethos. <laughs> as long as a sword. Gone there to hide. But Sephiroth showed up. Death Play a real man's game. He was going to confront him. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Not her talking to a dead body. Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mocking. At this moment, she started hating Uchiha's. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this. She is the government. God damn, it's a big ass sword. Tifa wields the BBC blade. Mother. <laughs> this is Sephiroth's initiation into becoming. In Final Fantasy VII, they don't have uh, Jehovah Witnesses. They have Genova Witnesses. He's going to become a Je Genova Witness. You burned my Spread the message door to door. <laughs> God damn. Kick him in the dick. Bacterial infection. Yeah, not the cowboy hat. <laughs> Kira! That's, that's what he's gonna do. Problem solved. Cast the spell. Kira! You just need some material, shoddy. Phoenix down. Yeah, throw, let's go. Run the fade. Run the fade. Some castor oil should be all right. Be right back. I'm finna buy this game with my last couple GameStop credits. You got GameStop credits? Your son. Mother. Together we will reclaim our world. And I know exactly how we can do that. The, the positioning with the camera where it made him look like he had wings is fire. I like that little metaphor. That's, that's good. That's good cinematography right there, Chet. Mother, they have come again. The dark angels. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. This nigga's mom's about to go. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> My mom's a Samsung. You killed my mom. 
You killed Tifa. Bastard. My village. My home. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> By right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Run to fate! Is this the end of the game? No, this is the beginning. Oh, the game just came out 30 seconds ago. This isn't a reimagined scene from Crisis Core. Ethos don't play no games, chat. He proven it. Yeah, it's a flashback from five years ago. That was from Crisis Core. That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? Ethos don't play no games. It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Uh-huh, did you finish AC6 yet? Assassin's Creed 6? Yeah, whatever one that is, yeah, I beat it. Me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. Something, 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 Tiplar's Apple of Eden. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. You played, you played Crisis Core? I play, I beat Crisis Core on stream. The remaster, I, I streamed it last year. That's how I know who all these characters are. Why come back now? That's why I would be, I would be confused as fuck if I didn't play that game. After five years, doing who knows what. Because it was a good game. He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Bruh, can we get back to the gameplay? These niggas yapping. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. I'm black. <laughs> That's code for you niggas is talking too much. I'm out. I did a number on my back. <laughs> stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Wow. Damn, Tifa gave her a back shot, Chuck. Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Throw that base. <sighs> At least they didn't give him the killmonger. Oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Girls night. Hey, Aerith, you awake? Barely. She sleeps Why? in overalls? I know she uncomfortable. Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Shout to Red Rum with the sub. And you were asking me this? I just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? Like the 3 a.m. demons. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm pregnant. Maybe that's why. I let a real nigga hit. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but. I let Cloud hit. As far as I know, 
Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Further reinforcing it's all in his head, basically. Niggas is hallucinating and shit. Be like, bro, you wasn't there. That was Zach. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Why she didn't interrupt the story is what I want to know. She's just sitting there like, yo, this nigga Cloud is crazy. <laughs> bro, I got MK Ultra. Oh wow. shit. You up? Be like, look, I was there. I'm pretty sure it was Zach that saved me. Um, where did you get that story from? Alright, let's see. Beep, 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 beep. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great. Are we talking right but now? What the fuck? Follow me. Oh, she wants some privacy. She better take them red boots off. Yeah, he definitely MK Ultra. Look at this nigga hallucinating. <laughs> you know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? <gasps> Man, I think he talking to a ghost. Mm, the jazz music is playing. Yeah, that PTSD beating his ass. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway, there's something I need to ask you too. <laughs> Shoot. This reminds me a lot of when Lizzie McGuire and Gordo were standing on top of the building. And Gordo finally got a chance to shoot a shot at Lizzie in the Lizzie McGuire movie. What do y'all think? That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Why is Lizzie McGuire in your memory bank? Because I used to watch it faithfully, nigga. The fuck? Lizzie McGuire, Cadet Kelly, all that shit. We stand Hillary Duff. Premium milk. Premium milk. Premium milk. But here we are. <laughs> here. That milk never expired. My scar. That proof enough? You said because TV used to mean something. That too. Yeah, even Stevie's was good. Back when TV was good, it wasn't After fucking you Zeus. Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. It wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who Zeus and Tubi. all night, and the nurses who looked after me for. Although jokes aside, Tubi's not that bad. If you download Tubi, I understand why people use it. Jokes aside, if you've never downloaded the Tubi app. The majority of Tubi's catalog is like old TV shows. They just have like random really bad movies on there. But the app is actually not bad. There's a lot of really good. If you like old TV shows, on, they're on Tubi for free. <laughs> I was like, I understand why people like the app now. Because you can beam that stuff to your TV. You know, I can't tell you that. Tubi got some good anime. You just got to You got to use it for you got to find something good on it. That's all. But yeah, it does have terrible original movies. Sorry, I just need some space. My girl been telling me to download it. That's like the new business model with television. Premium, um, like free free streaming apps or whatever. There's that. There's Pluto TV. There's that that channel we just talked about, the Black Fam joint for like uh, cartoons for like black kids or whatever. Like that's like gonna be the new thing where there's gonna be a lot of 
premium free where you just got to watch ads, but you can watch TV for free. Tubi is one of them joints. Got a lot of movieplex. I'm not going to lie, it sounds like a porn site. Um, but, yeah, you get the point. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. You think I'm dead? I think he wasn't there. Maybe we're both crazy. Maybe we're crazy about so. each other. <laughs> I was so happy to see you again. But maybe what up, fish milk? Oh. Said <laughs> she might not be the same. She looked kind of different from the back. That's a crazy statement. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. No loving in the group. <laughs> Barrett said, I know what's going on. Y'all fucking? That's literally what he said. There's <laughs> another day. <laughs> you better not be fucking that bitch, bro. We're a team. We do not need any drama in the workplace. That is what he said. Thank you. Can we get some goddamn gameplay now? It's a nice room. He's been three, four hundred a night. <laughs> Gotta get a cutscene just to open the door. This is crazy. What's this? The key a to key Tifa's heart. From our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Ew. You can now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players that want to play. Okay. So we got Yu-Gi-Oh! inside of the game. Learn how to play Queen's Blood? Sure. Let's do it. Why not? For shits and giggles. I saw in the reviews, apparently this game is actually pretty fun. Time to do it, do it, do it, do it. All right. Each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes that span from left to right. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pond. Okay. So it has to be one of these. I'm probably gonna lose because I already don't get it. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place the cards. The yellow number is the top right of the card is its power. While the positions a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graph. So I see the power levels on the top left. I mean, top right. Um, okay. So then what is it based off the lane strength? Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. So no, 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 no. What? Any snappers? When one of your car's position tiles overlap with the position you control, the position raises in rank. As there are two pawns on the tile now, that position is rank two. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really following this. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of what in the top left corner? Oh, the pawn number. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you'll have to raise the rank of your positions. So you have to have higher numbers in each lane than your opponent. So basically just looking at, it's just a numbers game? Just quit FIFA about the chill in the stream. You play FIFA, nigga? <laughs> As of now, you have a rank two position placing your rank two two on the cards. Okay, so right, okay. okay I think I get it. So on the lower, I can do a one, and then on the top, I have to do a two. I read the whole tutorial myself and I still don't get it. I just had to fall on my face. I think I can place him here. Yes, okay. I understand the lane a little bit, but I still don't understand how to win. 
When one of your card positions overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position as your own. Note, however, that claiming a position will not raise its rank. What? I, okay. You can keep track of who's winning a lane by looking at the point totals on each side of the board. The number of the left represents your power while the ones on the right represent your opponents. What? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The more they, this is getting more and more confusing. I can place a one there or one there or two there. All I have is ones. I'm just gonna put him here. And see. So can he attack me now? The best advice I can give you is try to take up as many spots on the board as you can. We're just going to play it out and see how it goes. So he put a three there. Oh, I think I get it. Okay, so on this lane, I think I'm winning because I have six and he has three. And then on this lane, he has, he's winning because he has five and I have three. So I lost that lane. Right now, he's at three. I think I get it. It's just math. Uh, yeah, my, my, I can't win this, I don't think, because my cards are trash compared to his. He's got five on that one. I got four. Um... Yeah, that's that's a L. That's a L. Retirement home ass game. I can't play anything in the middle, can I? No. All I can do is pass. I summon pot of greed. It's not letting me do anything. Opponent's turn. Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Only the player with the higher power in the lane has the power added to their score. In other words, no matter how high your power lane may be. If it's less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not count towards your score. After So you have to win the lane to score. After calculating the winner of each lane, adding their scores up, the player with the higher score wins. It's literally just math, yeah. What an awful tutorial. I lost. Defeat. Okay, I understand it. That was I'm not gonna lie, that tutorial was awful. <laughs> so it, okay so for people <laughs> people if you pick this game up and you plan to play this card game it's just math put the highest numbers in the lane as you can to win and then you add it up at the end that's it that's all they had to say that was awful bro that was a confusing ad man fuck that tutorial boo it's just marvel snap math <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's an example of overcomplicating shit. It was too late. By the time I figured out and understood it, it was too it was too late. I think I'm supposed to go down there. Ding 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 ding. Is that how Marvel is that how Marvel Snap plays? This is only the most recent in a series of crises. That's why I play you yeah. Good morning, sir. Followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate. I must have more or less for not interesting using myself too early. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Yo, turn the fucking radio off. Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. But there's special effects that play into it. So it's basically the same thing, but then some cards have special properties that give them boosts and nerfs other people. It makes sense. Maybe I have to play that. Adjust your party's gear by accessing the material. Let me know. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Huh? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to ask me if I have an STD or something. Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm, and their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Let's get it. Yes, <laughs> you got them perks on you, boy. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. For calling me a good boy. 
<laughs> that shit meant something to me. When you patted me on my head and said I'm a good boy, that shit meant something, bro. I'm going to accompany you. Red joins the party. Are you part of the Spawnies live or recorded? It's just a recorded segment. It's very brief. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Matter of fact, that shit starts at like six. Maybe I'll go to like six hmm. and then raid him. I might do that because it's almost four. Da -da 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 -da. Overcoming challenges, helping people in the need. Yeah, we know. Side quest. Yeah, whatever, nigga. Um, all right. We got a bunch of quests on the Finally, we can play the game. You know why Rufus had to step up, don't you? Everyone's saying it's because his dad caught something. Not you gossiping. The Midgar News broadcast. Oh, excuse me. Uh, morning. Sorry, Shadi. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. I just got here. You about to end the stream? Six. No, I said six o'clock. Tank remind you of anything? <laughs> uh, the place I made that promise to you. Any other Mako tank? The water. Bro, oh, it's a time decision. Let me read. I promised you. You remember the dress I wore? Oh shit, I got the answer right. Look at me go. <laughs> the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? It's six on the East Coast. I, I don't live on the East Coast. Uh, clouds, actions, affections. Uh, yeah, we know. Build a relationship. I don't get hoes, no problem. Do, 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 do. Noctis gets more hoes? Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Finally decided to get up? I know I do not live on the East Coast. So what you been doing? We go off of my time, PST. You, of and if I was on the East Coast, we'd go off on the EST. <laughs> but yeah, I always go off PST. So I won't keep you, but if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Yeah, everybody trying to fuck. We just started. Sure, let's do it. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome. Can I fuck everybody? Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. Mmm, she's a keeper. She's a keeper. Mmm. That's a that's a green flag, chat. If she if she never offers to pay for anything, that's a red flag, uh. Like you can't get the tip? Yeah. Jeez. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh. I take it this is your first. Yes, you can. I'm about to fuck the whole squad, right? Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Everybody getting the Buster Blade. Uh, augmenting Folio. Spend skill points at the whatever book's location to augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. <sighs> Begin tutorial. Let's see, select Cloud's Folio. The orange skill cores can be unlocked by spending skill points. Okay. Move the cursor over a skill core to see what it does. Ranged blade. Perform a ranged attack with your partner to activate in sequence to trigger a three hit combo. Can use while airborne. I like that range attack. Cloud uses Aerith's magic to unleash a rage attack. Ooh, that's hard. I think I'm gonna go with that. That's kind of hard. It's just a skill tree. Here we go. See, you know, these tutorials in this game are ass. Now I'm mad I even read this shit, bro. Yeah, finish tutorial. <laughs> I think it's a skill tree. <laughs> I thought it was going to be some crazy ass crafting or something I needed to learn. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This game overcomplicated everything. Alright, uh, where are we going? Did you start? Yeah, pretty much. I am Baron Kylegate. Where is it at? Yeah, whatever. That shit ass. Ooh, what's this? Okay, you get rewarded for exploring. Oh, he can swim. Ugh. Give me that. I obtained a headband. Which is hard, is streaming on Twitch or on YouTube? Are you asking me which is 
a harder stream to set up a twitch stream or a youtube stream or are you asking me what's harder streaming on twitch or creating videos on t youtube like your question is weirded is worded very weirdly Noctis gets more niggas. Yo, what the fuck are y'all talking about in the chat? <laughs> Just yapping. All right, we got an icon up on the top. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Yo. Going this way. He's talking about who's harder caps. Of course. This is, only the that, is that what he said? Look who it is. You up already? Drink it already? I am smart ass. Huh. No, sir. Not gonna have a drop till seventh heavens back up and run. No time soon. First one's on me. First one's on me, okay? Now that's what I'm talking about. Black man love to drink. Top shelf stuff in that case. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu Tai. Not Wu Tai. Yeah, I take it. Drink. Early. He's been eating Noctis dick for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> he liked them car rides, man. He likes them. <laughs> Let them my man's breathe. He loved them car rides. He loved the car rides and the blue screens on PC. Okay, we got him right here. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Damn, nigga. Plenty of action by the look of it. Like you can fight shit. It's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby Is that the sword from Apex is a crazy statement. Um upgrading weapons. Adjust your weapons, skills via upgrades, raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more skills. Of course, of course, of course. Do we have points to spend? Let's see. Upgrade weapons. Buster Blade. Weapons, attributes, and acquired skills are displayed here. Set a weapon skill there. So we can increase the X. So just perks. Weapon abilities and damage. 5% and then max XP. Well, no, I didn't I didn't want that one. I didn't want that one. Hold up. Nigga, damn. Fucking menus. This can be done by auto upgrade. I don't want to auto upgrade. No, manual. Yes, manual. Oh, my God. It was just a... Just make sure Man, shut your ass up, bro. I wanted to upgrade this shit. Here, check out what we got to offer. No. You take care of that weapon now. I ain't buying shit. I'll just find it. That's a crazy statement, too. He said, "You take care of that big sword, young man." Um, let's see, weapon upgrades. Bust a blade. Set a skill. No, I wanted the extra uh, X full health. Uh, does everybody else have shit? Gatling guns. Makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. We'll do that. Let's do everybody. Leather gloves. Increases the duration of unbridled strength by 50%. Increases attack power while unbridled strength is active with a 5% boost. Chi level 1 and 10% level. Nah, I'd rather have it longer. Let's see. Increases wind damage by 10%. Increases fleeting familiar duration by. I nah, will do wind damage. The, the vendor looks like Tyrese Halliburton. I got, <laughs> hey, I'm done sending, uh, selling weapons. I gotta go to the Pacers game, nigga. Uh, you know what the Pacers are? Restores HP when activating vengeance mode, increases counter spin potency. All right, we got some upgrades and shit. Don't, don't, don't. Let's get out of here. Let's get out I haven't saved in a while. I feel the need to save. Just in case that PS5 fucking crashes or something. Gun Gaga on your mama. Yo, shout out to Reasons with the sub. Appreciate it. Cloud, over here. It's the last day of Black History Month. Don't let a black man fail. Let's hit that sub goal. What's going on with y'all? Let's get started then, shall we? Aggressive a bit. That's why we like him. <laughs> oh, she want me. Oh, okay. Come on, nigga. It's our birthday.
for our first date, we're gonna sit in a Ferris wheel. And when we're high in the sky, you're gonna stick your head up my dress. Nobody will know. <laughs> I think Midgar is this view. away. Should be, yeah. Okay. Well, I can cast a spell on her and make her love me? Oh, shit. What are they doing? We came up here. What the fuck are we doing? Hello, game? What am I supposed to do? The game is colorful? Nah, somebody said it was dull. Well, you had to stand at the right angle. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? She's jealous. We like that chat. Don't you got a manipulator. So We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. Is her pussy better than mine? I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Oh, she's a loser. Don't take her for granted. <laughs> oh shit. This is when the bullshit starts. I don't know if that person's still in the chat that said the game was dull looking. It looks real colorful now, don't it? Yeah, AC 130 inbound. Just My black ass didn't need this shit. It's stressing me out. You got child support. I'm a good boy. Hell divers. <laughs> Hell divers. Attack Midgard. Go, go, go. Freedom. Democracy. For Super Earth. Get down, you fucking savages. <laughs> fucking savages everywhere, boss. Midgard needs some freedom. Needs some liberty. You're looking for us. All right, this is where the game's probably about to pick up. Let's get it. I was on a date too. That's crazy. Diddy and Nightmares is a crazy stream title. Uh, is that the title? Oh shit! Damn, she went down the stripper pole. Coming down the pole. Diddy caught a freako, not a rico, a freako. Add me to your team. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. But it's not time for a nap. The fuck? They're safe. Trust me. No violence, please. This town suffered enough. Pussy. Come on. Do it. Follow me. All right, we'll be diplomatic. Although I still feel like a fight's gonna break out. They're gonna force our hand. I'm gonna have to show them hell divers who's boss. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back here. Hey, you seen anyone acting suspicious? <laughs> you seen anybody acting suspicious? That's crazy. No means no, Diddy. No means no. That was you, wasn't it? Okay, I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. Oh, he's a spy. Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Fucking distract him then. Bullshit ass platforming. Game looks gorgeous. What up, Dime? <laughs> I know I saw some people who had a huge error about them. The 
had a fusual air about it. Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time. This shit is a big ass loading screen. Don't be fooled, chat. Making me walk all slow. Padding, yeah. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. Meek really crashed out yesterday. And the crazy part is he still has yet to address the allegations. All you have to say is all Meek Mill has to tweet is I have no problem with gay people, but I am not gay. And no, me and Diddy did not do anything freaky. This nigga has tweeted everything but that. <laughs> nigga, I'm from Philly. We don't do that. I kill niggas. Like, what's that got to do with anything? What the, we look, we talk about the court documents. <laughs> I got an album coming. <laughs> oh no, man, you looking a little funny, dude. You say it's AI, AI Meek, AI Freak Meek. Yeah, I swear I fuck bitches. Where are they? <laughs> yeah, you got Philly niggas looking bad. I'm from Philly. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Leave now. The, the wildest tweet I think I see from him was he, there was one tweet where he said, I think academics has said something like he was on drugs or something. And Meek responded. He said, nigga, I'm from Philly. What do I look like doing drugs? I was like, isn't the entire north side of Philadelphia a drug den? Fucking Kensington. Like, has anybody been to Philly? You know what I'm talking about. I'm like, there's a lot of drug. Actually, some of the north Philly is literally Skid Row. It's 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 the East Coast Skid Row. Like, what are you talking about, dude? dude. <laughs> he says something else too. Oh, he was like, uh, he said, sick <laughs> said, he said, no, no. He said normal kids don't watch academic streams. He said that nigga weird. He said normal kids watch um, Aiden Ross. <laughs> Yeah, like, stop, like, stop. I was like, mm, I don't know about that statement either. Like, <laughs> oh shit! It's a transmuter. Yeah. Do you feel like a face cam is a must for having a successful stream? But it still works. I would say you have a better chance of succeeding streaming if you have a face cam. It allows people to like relate to you better versus like gameplay. It's very rare these days somebody blows up without a face cam. And then if they do, it's because they're doing, um, what's the anime shit? Uh, Why are you doing this? What is that shit called? VTubing, VTubing. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shimra. That should be like a new meme. Anytime somebody says somebody accuses me of something, I'm going to be like, I'm from Philly. That would be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Oh, well, you got a cough. You got the COVID. Yeah, they did. I wish I could have kept that model, but it was only for that day. Yeah, I'm for the DMV. We don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm for that. For the item transmitter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items, such as consumables, equipment. Okay, crafting. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You can now create potions. Speaking of which, what are your general opinions on um, VTubers? I don't have a strong opinion on it. I don't watch any VTubers, so I don't know. It's not my thing. But I know it's like a it's a it's a budding genre. Um, I I have thought about I I have thought about making one for myself, like a model, because like you know some days like you just don't feel like being on camera, like for those days that or a PNG tuber. Those ones are fucking funny. Like for the days where I feel like I don't feel like being on camera, just VTube, like whatever, bro. <laughs> First, open the item transmitter. Da, 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 da. Cool. Currently, the trends are listed here. Increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmitter chips will expand the range. Pull a Siggy. There are black VTubers? Of course, of course, of course. I just don't watch any VTubers, so I'm not super strong on that. Are you looking forward to Dragon's Dogma 2? Yeah, I already played it. Don't ask me what I think, because I can't talk about it. I'm under NDA. I literally played it yesterday. I'll have a video out next week. Make sure to follow YouTube. Next, what's the NDA? Next Tuesday, the NDA, the embargo lifts. So next Tuesday, you will see a lot of Dragon's Dogma videos in your YouTube sub box or in your algorithm. Uh, but uh, I would just do PNG, I know. VTubers are mainly people that are huge in the anime and want to make fully animated and shit. Uh, cool. 
craft a potion. So just make sure you got the materials. It's simple enough. You need sage and plants blessings. Cool. So basically pick up everything you can find and then you can craft stuff. Was that in the first game? I don't remember. Damn, they love putting people under NDA. That's, yeah, it's for a multitude of reasons. A, to protect themselves because they're still prepping for the launch of the game. And then B, it's uh, NDAs and embargoes are good because uh, it creates a fair marketplace. Like, embargoes are put in place. The main reason they're put in place is to protect, like, let's say, because you're in the chat. I think you're you're the one that was asking about streaming. Like, let's say you want to be a streamer or, like, a YouTuber, right? Embargoes are put in place so that press it's equal across the board. Because if there was no embargo and they let me and IGN play Dragon's Dogma 2 or any game early, IGN will be first to market with a video. And then they're going to steal the majority of the video, the views, not because they have the best video, but because IGN is a multi-million dollar corporation with hundreds, if not thousands of employees, they can get the video out quicker than me. So it's really about, it's actually a good thing. People be complaining about embargoes. It's actually a good thing. It's to balance the playing field to some degree. It's always going to, they're always going to have an advantage because they have like the big audience, but at least you have a fighting chance. You made it all in one piece. Sorry, we're late. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. Ooh. What? Uh. Yo, what the fuck, bitch? I'm gonna dump her. Calm down. <laughs> I didn't even post her on my story yet, and she claiming me. Got that. I had a when I first moved to LA, I was dealing with a chick like that. Went on two dates, bro. She was cute too. Worked for a big esports company. The second date, I I drove her home, and she's getting out the car, and she's like. She's like, I see you later. I love that you my man. I said, your man. <laughs> Long story short, never talk to her again. Like, <laughs> blocked. Get your crazy ass out of here, band. Yeah, you, your man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, nah, bro. Like, I knew you was crazy. Could have just said you had a good time. <clears throat> It was one of those things, too, like, <laughs> it was such a, like, that's not an exaggeration on the story. It was such a natural reaction. It threw me off. She was like, she's like, I love you, my man. And I said, your man. Like, it was, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> nah. <laughs> and I know it came across as mean because she, like, scrunched up and she was, like, embarrassed. Like, them intrusive thoughts had came out. But I'm like, nah, we not about to do that, shorty. No. Always trying to be in love, bro. Take your time. Take your time. Don't be in a rush. All right, can we get to some goddamn combat? He's trying to speed run the ring. Hell no, bro. Hell no. Nah. Here we go. Hold open. <laughs> when that other girl come into play, what's her name? The one that was in the DLC? I don't know her name. The green one. Where's she at? Wow. Yuffie, yeah, Yuffie. Swiping through hinge right now, bruh. It's four o'clock. Get off the app. <laughs> nigga said, I'm swiping right now, nigga. <laughs> it's a little early. God damn. <laughs> like at four o'clock, bro. This nigga said, I am lining something up for the weekend right now. Living, breathing. You should know all the freaks is on at night anyways. Come on now. <laughs> I don't know what you on that app so early for. It may look that way. It's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Did Schoolboy at Cubie's album come out yet? Oh, now, I'll listen to it. I didn't. I didn't know it was out. Same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Comes out tonight. Bet. That's probably workout music for tomorrow then. To live right. 
Now, the person that was complaining earlier, this game is dull looking. There's not enough color. Is there enough now? <laughs> like, I, I literally said, let's wait till we get to the open world. We're still in the tutorial area. Now, I feel like the game is actually starting. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. Look at the teams, the team stance. Yeah, the game open ups now, LOL. Yeah, you play enough games, you can tell. The first step on our new journey. Are you coming? Yeah. Of course. I'm still mad she said we was on a date. He fucking my, my shit up, bro. Follow me. Fuck Joel the Hell Divers. <laughs> the Hell Divers master. He making it too hard for you? Man, man, so many things turn me off from these games. I try so hard to see the positives other than the story and the characters. What you hate about it? Adjust your battle party from combat. Only four people. Um, so the main story markers are the blue and then the rest is side quests. Cool. Um, how do I change the party? So currently we got Cloud, Red, and Aerith. Is level 40 in the demo. What the fuck? Why am I level 15 now? Um, let's see, party red. What does red do? I'm putting Tifa in the party, bro. How I take people out the party? Save photo. I don't know how to change the party. What's a good site to test A and B thumbnails? Um, Let's see, what is, what's the site I use? App.thumb, oh, thumbnailtest.com. Thumbnailtest.com. It does cost money. I, uh, I think it's like a hundred bucks for like a year, but you know, you can do titles, thumbnails, all that shit, but thumbnailtest.com. Uh, thanks for waking up. Nigga, what? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> How the fuck do I switch the party? Is it not gonna let me? How you going? Oh my God. Now can I do it? How you going to tell me you could switch party and then don't even let me do it? Remove party. Remove from party. Remove from party. Go to com It's in combat settings. Uh, that's combat. Let's see. Oh, party change. So I want to put bear, uh, party number two. I just want to swap this nigga out. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> Thanks for breathing today. Oh, edit party. Here we go. This is convoluted ass me. All right. So why even put a party menu in there if you change it in the combat setting? I want to put Tifa in. Got to keep Aerith because she heals. I'm mad you can only have three people because I want Barrett too. But we'll see how this lineup feels for now. Uh... Do, 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 do. Watching some of these game devs on Twitch, I learned that NDA, they're allowed to say some things, but not a lot. If they do, they can get fired. Yeah, that's what an NDA is. Usually the only thing you can say if you sign an NDA is, and you should always ask just to be safe. But usually the safe thing is like, let's say you get, like, let's say you got this game early. You could say, oh, I played it. That's about it, but you can't say anything else. Everyone can heal. Yeah, but Aerith is a healer. I like to have a healer, if that makes sense. Like, Cloud can heal, but he's not a healer. An efficient one is what I'm saying. Fighting pineapples and shit. Fuck SpongeBob's house. And I think the D-pad was to switch the characters. I feel like this game is a fake open world game, bro. Like, can you actually explore this shit? Oh, I lied. Never mind, you can't explore. It didn't look real. Can you jump? No. I still wouldn't call this open world. This feels like semi open world. Can you jump off here? Yeah, it's semi. 
I'm cool with that. I don't need no big ass open world. Is the combat complex like you can create your own combos by pressing other buttons than square? Yeah. Uh, is it Devil May Cry? No. Alright. Change my stance. Like right there, I just changed my stance. Also, it's not a button masher. It may look like it, but it's because I know how to play the game already. There's a, there's an ebb and flow to shit. That's my thrust. Time to grind, guys. There's areas still hidden till later when you get more traveling mounts. Mm. Well, don't we like semi-open world so it's not repetitive? Yeah, yeah I like semi-open world games. That, like the outer worlds. I'm tired of open world games. I like linear and semi-open world games. Yeah, because combat surprising a lot deeper than at first glance. Yeah, and also keep in mind, I'm at the beginning of the game too, so like I don't have everything unlocked. You got like magic spells, combo moves with people. You can switch between characters. Which, if I can get into a fight, let me see if I still let you do it. But like right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna just run around and beat shit up. Level up, see what we can get into. Outer Worlds is fucking fire. Yeah, I'm excited for the second one. It's gonna kill everybody. Look at that. <laughs> Does your loot from the first game carry over? I don't know. Also, keep in mind, you don't gotta like the game, Ashy. Like, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect my... This is... I am not one of those gamers. You not enjoying the game does not affect, affect my enjoyment. And I never understood people who have that stance. Like, you're allowed to dislike these games. I get it because the cutscenes are long and shit. I don't even like every Final Fantasy. I was not a fan of Final Fantasy 16. I think the story in this one is just really good and the characters are really likable. Wait, there's another Outer Worlds coming out? Yeah, they announced that shit like a year and a half ago. Outer Worlds 2? That's their next game. Is this where I came from? Or is that the dest no, that's the destination? I'm not going down there. I'm an FF fan and I hate it 16. Yeah, you're not gonna like everyone. I need a chocobo, bruh. And where the fight's at? Talk to them. I'm stealing y'all fucking crops. What y'all gonna do? Hello, child. Can you kill their cows? Aw. Just give it a little spanking. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let's go up here. What's the Outer Worlds about? Uh... There's a, how do I explain this? There's a crazy scientist. Want all the smoke? Yeah, I want all the, fall out in space, pretty much. But like, I think he meant like the story specifically. We found side quests. Nice. Kingdom Hearts is Square Enix's best franchise. Survey says that's a lot. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. How is that a lie? Because the only people who say that are Kingdom Hearts fans. You notice that? Everybody else would disagree with you. Only Kingdom Hearts fans say that shit. <laughs> the story don't make no sense. The camera's ass. I mean, I mean, like, truthfully, I feel like a lot of you niggas love that shit because it has Disney characters. And, oh, fucking Sora gets to fight alongside Hercules and, and Aladdin. You take Aladdin out that game, that shit is boring. That's why you niggas like that shit. Oh, who's going to appear this time? Tarzan. It's a gimmick. But the actual game? No. I don't want to buy no potions. Is it, This is a save point, right? But the, I would not say Kingdom Hearts is better than Final Fantasy. 
if a matter of fact here i'm gonna kill this argument i'm gonna kill this argument single-handedly if kingdom hearts is the better square game compared to final fantasy how come final fantasy characters have to guest appear in kingdom hearts and not the other when, is, when you you see sora in final fantasy 7 no it doesn't need it one of the best yo here's i'm really gonna kill your argument one of the best fights in kingdom hearts is who sephiroth what game is he from the one we're playing not kingdom hearts the Sephiroth fighting fucking Kingdom Hearts is fucking fire. Yeah, it was fire in Final Fantasy 7 too, nigga. What the fuck? Stop. You niggas like Tarzan, Disney princesses. <laughs> Said I wouldn't even entertain this one. Yo, the Kingdom Hearts fans are fucking funny, bro. <laughs> Y'all are fucking funny. Oh, Jesus. Yo. Mulan, yeah, this shit got Mulan in it, bro. <laughs> I'm from Philly. <laughs> Damn, he cooking, unfortunately, for y'all. <laughs> like, you can like Kingdom Hearts, but cut it out. Cut it out. Uh, y'all want to see Sora in Final Fantasy? I wonder if it's because of the open area. I thought I would have been able to get into more fights because I'm trying to just test the fucking combinations out. I guess we should just go push the story forward a little bit more. Chill, Mulan is cool. I didn't say it wasn't. Mulan is cool. Y'all mind if I steal your crops? Thank you. This motherfucker Cloud is a thief. All right, let's go to the objective. You ain't had to shit on people's childhood. I haven't heard any new Kingdom Hearts 4 news also. I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll show that game when they're ready. I'm pretty sure they're aware of um, the kind of general sentiment. Because, I mean, the only people I've heard that really like Kingdom Hearts 3 are like the super hardcore diehard Kingdom Hearts fans. But even Kingdom Hearts 3 kind of had the... I think it kind of split the community. A lot of people didn't like that game. Like, once you get past the glitz and glam, the game was very bare bones in terms of mechanics. That's why I uninstalled that shit. Within the first two hours, I saw that boat move like 50 times. I'm like, this nigga summoned another boat. This shit is boring. Use assets on enemies to reveal its elemental weakness. Assess, I mean, as well as effective strategies. How do I use that? Then exploit those. How do I use assess, though? Sure wish. Deal with that. So you can switch characters. And then it tells you their strengths. She does close range. Materia? Oh, it's a spell. I'll take care of them. I'll stand in the corner and cast some spells. What spells we got? Staggered! So we're gonna switch. Nah, I'm gonna switch. Is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Can you jump? Watch Whatever. Time to switch my stance. <laughs> I took a back shot. Triple slash. <laughs> His backside is the weakness. I can already tell. <laughs> Give me that. She said I'm the biggest mage hater. What are you talking about? I keep her on the team. But she's a healer. That's what she do, man. Your black ass didn't do nothing. She's the healer. But yeah, I don't think we'll see more Kingdom Hearts 4 news until they're ready to show it because the sentiment around 3 was not good. So they probably know we need to come correct for 4. The better question is, are y'all excited about 4? Because I when they, when they first revealed it, I'm not going to lie, it didn't do anything for me. Granted, I've never been a big Kingdom Hearts fan. I think that franchise is super overrated. Y'all niggas like the camera in that game? Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. I'm excited. And then the people who were excited for when I remember when they showed off Kingdom Hearts 4 for the first time. Wasn't it Toy Story in the trailer? That's what niggas was talking about. Which further proves my point. 
Like you niggas don't really like the game. You you like that these worlds that you didn't think would collide are colliding. It's fan service more than any. Oh, they got Woody and Buzz Lightyear and Kingdom Hearts. Oh, do I have me on? Camera fucking sucks though. Mention it. It's the least I could do for two seconds. Do I have me on? This reminds me of my childhood. Grow up. <laughs> Today, then. Oh shit! If they if they if they put Jesse, if they put Jesse in Kingdom Hearts three, I'm gonna fucking <sighs> you're gonna what? That's a doll, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's a doll, and I'm pretty sure it's a little girl. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Oh Jesus! Can hunker down. Hunker down. If I could just relive that training montage with Mulan, where she trained with all the men. And sang the song, I want to sing with Mulan. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. You'll just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. If it's a part of the game, then is it not the game? Yeah, but the, the problem with that is it doesn't change the fact that it's a gimmick. Like, I can, I can argue after, and I, I can argue maybe even probably during 4 they're going to struggle with it. Because Disney hasn't it's, it's a gimmick that they rely on to sell the game. I can argue they're going to struggle with it with four. And if they make a five or six, they're really going to struggle because Disney really hasn't put out a lot of new characters. They've been regurgitating Star Wars, the same Disney characters that we already know. I mean, like, really, what's the last new Disney princess? Uh, the black one, the princess and the frog, Tiara? Is she, has she been in the game yet? But there's not, there's not a lot of new Disney characters if you think about it. So there's only so many games they can make. Moana? You can count probably maybe on one hand. It does it does stifle the creativity of the game development if you actually think about it. Versus a Final Fantasy, they can make whatever the fuck they want because it all is coming from a place of creativity versus working in the confines of something. And also the camera sucks, so. <laughs> Four games in, the camera still sucks. I don't know why they can't get that under control. Too busy putting to infinity and beyond in the game. Oh man, if we could just imagine in Kano Hearts 4, guys, we're gonna do a mission where where Andy comes into the room and we shrink, and then Sora is gonna be forced to get in. You remember? You guys remember in Toy Story 1 where Buzz and Woody were chasing after the van in the RC racer? Like, imagine having to relive that with Sora in the car now. Oh my god. <sighs> Life is good. So good. You niggas are like Sonic fans, bro. Right? Grow up. <laughs> Fucking trolls. Let's do that. What was the block button again? Oh, right. Okay, I got it. I know later game I'm gonna have to get good at blocking again. Mink, 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 mink. Here, you wanna see some mage gameplay? Oh, oh. Uh. 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 Ward shift. I don't like playing as her. Yeah, I I'm gonna go to Tifa. Whirling uppercut. All done. You getting jumped? Give me that. What's worse, Nintendo fans or Kingdom Hearts fans? Oh, well, Nintendo, because, I mean, that's a whole big catalog. You got the type of Kingdom Hearts fans who brainstorm theories on a drawing board, giving you a mindfuck exposition. I mean, you kind of have to to understand the story. I shouldn't have to have a PhD to understand Kingdom Hearts story. But you do. You do. A PhD in not touching grass. Uh, let's see. I got my PhD and my master's in basement dwelling, guys. What's that uh, doing for you? Should we be worried about those things? We're fine. They're deer. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Let's go beat their ass. Grind some Local XP. Life will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, you gotta understand like ten games to understand Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, and then you have to play them in the correct order too. You gotta play. You gotta play Kingdom Hearts one. 
Then you got to play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the fucking DS Mini. Then you got to play fucking Kingdom Hearts 2. Then you got to play Kingdom Hearts Underbirth Night Nightgown on the fucking 3DS. And then you got to like, it's not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. I don't know why niggas defend that shit, bro. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 365 by two days on the goddamn Ouya. Crazy as 1.5 came out after two didn't hit. Yo, shout out to Dax with the sub. Hey, get your ass beat. Big back shots. Oh, all right, bro. Why did I leave her alone like that? Bro, camera, 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 camera. Come on now. Damn, Kingdom Hearts camera. He getting his ass beat too. Dive kick. Ooh, big trophies, big PlayStation trophies. Let's go. Um, hopping between consoles for one series is crazy. I wouldn't say crazy, but to that extent, the number of different platforms, the requirements to actually understand the full story is ridiculous. Who's who's looking at me? Who want to fade? Oh, what's up? Oh, I got a synergy attack. The fact there's a game called 1.5, insane behavior. And it's only not insane to you because you normalized it. But to everybody else, we ain't normalized it. Fighting big ass rats and shit. Look at Barrett's black ass doing nothing. Look at you. They got a perfect guard. Oh. All right. Yeah, I got to get better at that. Thoughts on Halo Infinite? Nobody plays it. Actually, it was having a resurgence, but I think they killed the game when they announced their sunsetting it. From my understanding, Halo Infinite was in a good place uh, as of recently. Like They fixed the game's issues, but by the time they fixed it, it was too late, and now they're sunsetting the game because 343 announced that. They didn't say they were sunsetting the game, but if you read between the lines, they're sunsetting the game because they're, they announced they're working on other games. And they're turning there's like a couple updates left and then they're kind of turning their attention elsewhere so like it's gonna slowly die off unfortunately the unfortunate thing about gaming nowadays is there's more competition than ever it's good for the consumer but bad for the developers they want to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on games you better get it right the first time because if you stumble out the gate catching a second chance especially in this meme culture and i'll be honest i'm one of the assholes doing it i i said on this stream two weeks ago and i said I know, well, first of all, we knew Skull and Bones was going to be ass, but what solidified it is when the CEO of Ubisoft came out and said, this is a quadruple A game. What did I say on this stream? I said, that shit is going to be a meme. Everybody's going to crack jokes. Go on YouTube and look up how many quadruple A videos you can find. You got it. You can't, you cannot take your time. If you want to make a game, <laughs> you stumble out the gate. Motherfuckers is going to clown you. A lot of, I did have fun with Halo Infinite when it first launched. It just lacked content. And then also, I don't think they helped because the single player was ass. There was no split screen co-op. They, they really fucked over. Halo, to me, is just as important as a single player narrative shooter as it is a multiplayer. And they were focused too much on it being a multiplayer game. And then the worst part is that multiplayer aspect was lacking content. The core was good. But that battle pass was weak as fuck. I thought Skull and, I thought the Sea of Thieves was better than Skull and Bones. A lot of people did so yeah you can't stumble out the gate they wanted to get the lit live service like fortnite yeah fortnite's success unfortunately has done a lot of damage to the gaming community everybody got it like we were talking about the other day the rumor is the new assassin's creed is supposed to have a battle pass nigga why 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 does Ezio need a <laughs> why does cassandra need a battle pass why 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 do the fry twins need a battle pass what am i gonna do with that and, and the, wor the worst part is, the worst part is, because don't take it as me saying Fortnite ruined gaming. It's not coming from a place of malice. 
it's more so Fortnite's success unfortunately led to a lot of negative things because people see the money that it's making and they want to replicate it that's what i'm saying but it did do irreversible damage it's the suits man the suits yeah all they see is the money Ezio got a battle pass chat they say it's gonna be new items weekly i don't want to dress up my assassin that bad i just want a good story yeah Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. No, your big ass cannot be in no canoe. Head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. What Connor gonna do with a battle pass? Maybe they'll maybe they'll put a personality uh, reward for Connor in the battle pass. They'll get that nigga a personality. That's what. Because <laughs> Connor's whole personality is I'm angry. I'm Native American. We swim it. Haytham was the most interesting thing about Connor. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even I'm Batman. if you slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Phil the word and he'll pick you out. A bird. I fucked with AC3, but Connor was... <laughs> I thought AC3 was a good game. But it was because it was a good game. Like, Connor as a character wasn't particularly interesting. Which is unfortunate because you don't get to see a lot of Native American characters. But he wasn't a good character. He was too one-dimensional. Fine. <laughs> How come they aren't doing a Black Assassin's Creed? They have, multiple times. There was Assassin's Creed Liberation. Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. And then apparently you're playing as Yasuke in the newest uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. That's three. And then um, you're also playing as... um. A black samurai that's the rumor in assassin's creed japan so that would be four black characters you're actually wrong <laughs> yo shout out to joe with the sub and one of them was the one in the main games with bayek yeah i'd, I'd argue bayek is top five in terms of he was a good character if you want to throw bayek's wife in there too she's the one that started the creed he said dang where i've been at <laughs> You no, know, I, I know my Assassin's Creed. I put Bayek right behind Ezio. As much as much as I want to, like my top three assassins, Ezio, Cassandra, and then I'll put Bayek at number three. He was a great character, and I want to give him that two slot, but I did I did love Cassandra. Cassandra was fucking funny. We're moving towards the objective. Where's the fight at? Oh, there we go. No Bassem? Man, fuck Bassem. <laughs> he's one of the, he might be the worst assassin. He, he'll win the war for fattest assassin, slowest assassin, most tired assassin. Oh my God. I need some new abilities, bruh. Ooh, look at me go. Keep it together. My turn. On you. I got you. I'm beating up squirrels in the forest is crazy. <laughs> They're trying to take our nuts. Protect the nuts. And protect your nuts too. Is this like a healing? What the fuck? <laughs> this is a, a healing squirrel. This is my ultimate move. Kiraga. I'm going to stuff a bunch of nuts in my mouth and heal. Do you ever think Assassin's Creed Mirage to be a useless exposition dump for a prequel to Valhalla? Yeah, the game is. That, that's the biggest problem with it is useless. And I wouldn't have been mad at it if it was just DLC. The problem is they made it a full-blown game. If it was DLC, it wouldn't have bothered me as much. Because that's exactly what it felt like, DLC. Didn't that game turn out to be a dream or something? Yeah, the ending to that game, basically that nigga got a headache. I'm like, all right, bro. That's why they called it Mirage. It was all a dream. If you don't get this good Gaga shit out my goddamn face. I keep saying I'm going to go to the objective and I get I get uh, distracted. Other than the fight over here, I'm getting distracted some more. Assassin's Creed Migraine. It gives you one and he wakes up with one at the end. Fuck that game. Big block. 
Watch your health. Hey, yo, Aerith. Let me get a heal or something. Unlockable, unblockable attacks when the enemy is about to use an attack. Oh, okay, the exclamation point symbol. Let's see if let's use a synergy. Oh, I don't have any. Hmm. Does she have any? Nah. Right now, she's still too early. Bruh, let me get a fucking heal. Get on my man's. We're going on a date. Don't touch him. I need to set Aerith to heal or something. This man ain't doing nothing. Let's see command spells. Oh, she doesn't have a healing spell yet. That's why she ain't healing. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we need to get some goddamn healing abilities over here. What's going on? Stagger. All right, well. Now I know that I need to pop some potions. Look at that. Uh, items, potion for Aerith. I'm dead that woman saw the whole time he was in the condo. Would you recommend Elden Ring to someone who isn't good at Souls-like games? Game looks cool, but I feel like I'd give up on it. I mean, you know, I've never been a fan of Souls-like games. That's what got me into it, Elden Ring. Um, I don't know. You have to commit yourself to it. I will say after I beat it, like I'm not like intimidated by the games anymore. Cause I mean, I went on to beat uh, Liza P too. It's it's a good starting point because what, what Elden Ring did better than I think than Dark Souls and Bloodborne is it doesn't force you to play a particular way. And then if you get stuck somewhere, you can go travel and explore and come back later. So then when you go back to a more linear game it made it easier. Do you ever think Ubisoft will make another Watch Dogs? Probably slim to no chance. Th those games don't sell well, which is unfortunate because Watch Dogs 2 is one of the last really great games, in my opinion, that that uh, Ubisoft made. But that game didn't sell well for a multitude of reasons. A, Watch Dogs 1 was not very good, so a lot of people didn't even want to give 2 a chance. And then B, Black Protagonist, that plays a role too. But I think it had more to do with the first game being ass. Not ass, but super mid, super mid. Watch Dogs 1 is super mid. Uh, Watch Dogs rumor has it the next game will be set in Chicago. Ronan, the first game was set in Chicago. I'm in a rush, so... Where, where'd you read that at? Who told you that? The GameStop guy? <laughs> Facebook <laughs> is gonna be set in Philly. Oh shit! This is a good game to stream. Just run around and grind XP. <laughs> Except for the cutscenes, I gotta pay attention. This thing is still gonna be in Chicago. Did you play the first one? Oh shit! Ronin the time traveler, the true last Ronin. Ow. Bitch, got you. That perfect guard. I gotta master that. Change my stance and stagger this. Big magic. His ass. Throw them hands. Stagger! Overwhelm him! Girl power! Uh, yeah, Aiden was buns. He was a boring character. So it's my favorite game right now? I don't have a favorite game right now. Uh, I be playing everything, so... Why does, how do I, put, let me check her spells. Uh, spells for Aerith. Yo, when the fuck she get a healing spell? 
I was only able to tolerate Watch Dogs 1 because of the gameplay. Yeah, the gameplay was okay. It was the story was kind of lackluster. I wasn't really too big. I didn't really care about the graphics thing. It was unfortunate the graphics didn't look as good as the E3 presentation, but like to me, I'm always like gameplay first. It was just overall the gameplay was a little lackluster. I dead ass forgot about Watch Dogs Legion. Watch Dogs Legions taught me that less like Watch Dogs Legions sound cool on paper. And then you play it and you realize why having a protagonist is important. Because when you don't when you don't have one, the game is boring. And the game didn't really have an antagonist either. Yeah, Watch Dogs 1 Chapter 2 is one of the worst like chapters I've ever played in a fucking video game. It was too long and drawn out. Yeah, you've seen that in Super Smash Bros. Now you've seen it in real life. First one down. We got spells. Fire! Give me my trophy. Spells. It's coming back. The, fl the flow's coming back, chat. It's getting there. But yeah, for the person that was asking, is there some depth to it? Yeah. Just got to know how to do it. So it was just generic groups fighting or two different sides of the game with no protagonists or anything. Yeah, uh, and Watch Dogs Legion, the game with the problem, the biggest issue with that game to me was the actual main mechanic, the gimmick. So in the game, you could literally play as anyone. That's why it was called Legion, because you could recruit anyone in the city of London to play for DedSec. Um, the issue is none of those, they were just like vessels. None of them had a personality. None of them had a story. You were just kind of doing a quest. And then I say it didn't have an antagonist because the villain in the game doesn't really show up until like the last half of the game. So it kind of felt like the game was just lacking a lot of... Per yeah, avatars. Like it was lacking a lot of personality. It was. It had a very unique problem that I'd never seen. It. I was like, this game is missing something. And by halfway through it, I was like, it's because there's no character. Yeah, it just felt like you were controlling NPCs like randomly. Yo. So you didn't feel any connection to the game versus Watch Dogs 2. It was actually the polar opposite. You felt a really good connection to Marcus because of the things that he was going through, especially with him being falsely accused of a lot of things. And then also they didn't really innovate the gameplay too much. It was kind of the same. It was literally Watch Dogs 2, but instead of Marcus, you can play as anybody. So you made Watch Dogs 2 worse. So. Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by yeah, any chance? Yeah, I, I need a chicken to ride on. Are we ever. Need him to get through the do I plan on playing Dragon's Dog Open 2 after Rising of Ronin? You know it. Place. Back in the day, we had Republic you know it. to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. I might fuck around play them at the same damn time. Damn, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering. <laughs> he plays a session of Skull and Bones. power to glide across swamps with ease. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while they're limber? Yo, what is my nigga? <laughs> oh, what is he doing? All his hip gyrating. One of the fastest fiends around can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hardworking chocobo. He a little sassy. Here's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. That's funny. His grandson's name is Billy because there was a game on GameCube called Billy. And he <laughs> he had chicken eggs. He would fight with chicken eggs. Is this that Billy? What was that game? Was it was it just called Billy? Or like Billy Hatch Billy Hatcher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. I'm about to go fight, go play fine, fine Billy Hatcher over here. Yay. With a choke hose. Alright, buddy. Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. Yum. 
sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. Why his grandson got this country ass accent, but then he didn't? One's a pirate, one's a cowboy. This is a confusing ass family. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which Hustling us. Ten grand each. <laughs> You don't even got no customers. We don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Blow me. Only cost you a grand. <laughs> is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Why oh, what a nice guy. Still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. Oh my oh. god. This nigga's sending us on a mission to find Char Ash's Charizard. <laughs> We're going to find Ash's Charizard. That's why his ass ran away. <laughs> he's a bit of a dickhead, but uh, you can keep him. Yeah, I wonder why. You can start by looking for his tracks. <laughs> Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made them. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people, but if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. Wrangle us. The first big mission, we gotta wrangle a chicken. We gotta choke a chicken, chat. Provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. Okay, Chloe, the small town shoddy. Shout out to Brody with the sub. businessman. Y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. I think we got a choice. Time for a fetch quest. Let's go choke that chicken. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. Oh, we can rob he's him. He's doing his job. We understand, I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Their parents left to go do swingers parties. Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector Six slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. That's my man. It's his fault. Mom and Dad are gone. So, Chloe. That's none of these good folks. Business. They left to become kick streamers is a crazy statement. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Our small Don't town worry. ranch. Your secret safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? We finna go explore and look for Pico the chicken. Pico gonna be in the middle of the fucking forest fighting everybody. If anything comes Robbing niggas. Got he probably this chocobo probably got a do rag on. Like, <laughs> nigga walking through the jungle and shit. Niggas better not run up on me because I I got it on me. I'm like Pop Smoke, man. I got it on me. I got it on me. Like what the fuck are you talking about, dude? You're a chicken. Like, <laughs> so I was too big for that little ass farm, bro. I was out here trying to get some money, bro. What the fuck. I don't want to buy nothing. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. I'm gonna rob them. Uh, don't mind if I do. I can tell for this year for gaming is gonna be nothing but good RPGs, which is a good thing, but also a bad thing, because now all the Call of Duty content, gaming is dead. There's nothing to play. Like, bro, there's plenty of RPGs. Yeah, got a wife beater and a do rag on. I don't even know how that big ass chicken got the wife beater on. Is the crazy part. Smoking a cigarette. I obtained a Mongol medal. Oh, wow. I wonder, why would I want to role play? Like, you do role play when you play basketball video games. Shit, when you play Call of Duty, you're role playing a soldier because you're too pussy to enlist. All right. No, 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 no. You mean Pico? Spending hours on your fucking loadout and shit. <laughs> a chicken with a bonnet. That's fucking funny. Is there a save point over here? There is. Save. 
HP and MP fully restored. And let's see, can we buy some potions? I don't know how much money we got. Let's see, buy potions. How many bands? I got 2,000 bands on me. Oh, they're not expensive. Let's get a bunch. 15. 750? I just dropped 750 like it was nothing, bitch. Since we get in college football 2024 returning, would you see college basketball returning too? I don't know. I don't even know if I would care, to be honest. I never played the college um, video games because I couldn't tell the difference, like what was the difference. And then when I ask people, they'll be like, oh, college basketball was better than the 2K because the atmosphere. I'm not playing a basketball game because niggas shout louder. If anything, that actually makes me not want to play it. Um, but that's just me to each his own. What up, Jazzy? Also, I'm a college dropout, so like I don't have any affinity towards any school. Not really trying to relive the glory days, you know? Yeah, I'd rather than bring like arcade sports games back. It's so remote. It's more so building a program and franchise. Yeah, see, I can understand why like, if people were into that, then you know, that's their thing, but that ain't it ain't for me. He said not even Howard, not even Howard, I don't care. What a opposite. Let's go. Is that up? Collect it all. You know, you know any casual shooters coming out this year? Waiting on X Defiant. That's that was supposed to be my go-to casual shooter. The rumor is March 31st or something, but who knows? They keep pushing that shit back, which is making me nervous because it's Ubisoft. Howard do got the baddies though. What that got to do with anything? We talking about sports. X Defiant will save gaming. Ah, that's facts. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, big, big counter. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I blocked this shit. Oh, come on. There it is. Staggered. Material well. <laughs> I like that achievement. Material well. I want X to find it. I want to see a Splinter Cell remake. X to find be trending on Twitter like every other day. It blows my mind like how like excited a lot of people are looking forward to it. And it makes me wonder, like, are people generally that excited about X Defiant or do they hate Call of Duty that much? Oh, shit. What's this down here? Let's go down here. We're exploring. <laughs> Materia girl. You know. But that's what it, it kind of feels like. Half, I would say they hate COD. Yeah, it kind of feels like half of it is that they hate Call of Duty so much. They're waiting for it. Yo, shout out to Black Math Nerd with the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it. We're just doing this RPG shit. But I, I, the only reason I said I'm kind of looking forward to it is because, like, and the same things with Tekken. I like, uh, the older you get, the more you appreciate games where you can just hop on and off. Play for an hour and get off. Like, it's not like a, like, this is a time commitment. And I love games like this, but it doesn't change the fact that this is a time commitment. And I, look at this. I came down here. I thought there'd be something down here. Maybe a mini boss. Nope, nothing. What the fuck was the reason for coming down here? Got me exploring shit for no reason. Look at our graphics moment. Duh, duh. Look at them planes in the sky. Them bitches is not moving. <laughs> I love that I can get three games of tech in it and carry on with my day. Pretty much. Unless I lose, then I got to play one more. Even though I saw a respawn is not going to do it. I would love it. Yeah. The music is fire. Yeah. Titanfall 3. It's time. We need that casual shooter that you can just hop on and off, man. Call of Duty ain't hitting. Modern Warfare 3 was. I feel like. I don't know what it is. I don't know how they managed to do it. 
it had a moment for like maybe two or three days where I feel like people were making fun of it. But I feel like Modern Warfare 3 should have got a lot more flack than it did. And I think it's because some people did like the zombies mode, but that shit was ass, bro. That fucking $70 DLC. I don't know how the hate that Suicide Squad got. Fucking Modern Warfare 3 should have got Skull and Bones should have went to Modern Warfare 3. Same level. <laughs> I, like the way people pick and choose what to be mad at is always strange to me. Don't overdo it. Okay, let's go. Right. Big counter. You feeling that pressure, ain't you? Got your backside. Staggered. Yeah, now cloud on your ass. Blizzard. <laughs> the blizzard to the jungle. Um, it's nostalgia. People that grew up on it seen some people say they're done with COVID and they they came back because of it. I had multiple chances to get that game for free and I still didn't play it. Shit was ass. How do you counter? You mean the parry? Uh, on the controller, you hit R1 to block, but you have to do it at the right time. It's a timing thing. So like right when the attack is about to hit, hit R1 and it'll parry. It's a little hard to do it in this game. The timing is really weird, the animation. But yeah, you see it definitely helps a lot because it builds up the stagger damage. Why is New Rockstars asking who's winning Iron Man or Magneto? Yeah, that's a dumb question. Dumbass question. <laughs> Iron Man or Magneto? I think Magneto will turn Iron Man into a lunchbox. <laughs> I don't care how, sm how smart Tony is. Unfortunately, some matchups are just bad. Turn that nigga into a lunch pail. <laughs> well, actually, did you know Iron Man has a suit that Magneto is not capable of manipulating because blah, 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 something intelligence, money, money, money. <laughs> like, nah, we're talking Iron Man's no preparation. For Magneto or Iron Man, he's in his basic Mach 8 suit or whatever that shit is called. He's getting folded by Magneto. <laughs> Magneto solos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magneto's an Omega level mutant. That nigga solos most of Marvel, bro. What are you talking about? When I seen that nigga, what was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? X Men 2? When that nigga pulled the iron out of that dude's blood when he was in the cell, I was like, oh, this nigga, nigga Magneto different, bro. <laughs> that man can feel the iron in your blood and pull you out. He can literally kill most people whenever he feels like it. Although I would imagine Magneto does probably have, he probably has more trouble fighting women. Because I've never met a woman who didn't say she, she didn't have low iron. Like a lot of women say, oh, I got low iron. That's why I'm always cold. So Magneto probably couldn't, he probably struggled with the Phoenix, but against men, Magneto. <laughs> against men, that nigga Magneto will body your ass, bro. <laughs> He's Omega level. I think that's why a lot of people are so like, they really want the X-Men in the MCU. Cause there are like several X-Men between Magneto, Charles, Phoenix, a handful of other people that are just like God tier characters that would change the, show, the, the movies and shit. Yeah, that was an older Magneto. Ba -ba -ba. All right, we're on the beach having some fun. Did we get a bikini? Oh yeah. What's over here? The biggest sin Marvel 3 campaign committed was being boring. Of course, shit sucks. Uh, you think they should recast the X-Men when they join the... I would imagine they are gonna. I think Deadpool's gonna reset the whole universe and shit. I would imagine it's gonna be... I'd imagine there's gonna be a new storm, a new cyclops, all that shit. Cause all all they gotta do is do some multiverse shit. Be like, oh, this is Earth Two X Men. This is not the Days of Future Past headasses. Oh yeah, Storm is Omega. Yeah, she's God level. She literally is a god. Uh, yeah, there's so many different characters that would they would just completely change the MCU. Like I I'd argue if the X Men were there, that fight with Thanos would have been completely different. Because fucking Captain Marvel damn near beat Thanos by himself. By herself. And nobody likes her. 
So I imagine Captain Marvel with the X-Men. No offense, but Marvel is childish. Too many jokes and too bright. DCU is where it's at. Uh, I was with you halfway until you said the DCEU. W w name a good DC. <laughs> All right, and don't and don't say the Batman. Don't say that because the Batman is not part of the DCEU. You lost me when you said that part. I, I agree Marvel has gotten too comedic. But you lost me when you said the DC films. Like, mm, mm, you, you was watching Captain Marvel? Fucking Black Lightning? What are you talking about, bro? Man of Steel. That sounds like a fucking porno. Man of Steel starring some, some nigga with a BBC. <laughs> All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like that I'm exploring and there's nothing out here, bro. What the fuck? Snyder Cut is heat. I did like the Snyder Cut. Although that shit was like 12 hours. <laughs> Suicide Squad. They really don't have to multiverse anything, in my opinion. They could just be different actors. True. Harley Quinn. Yeah, Har Harley Quinn solos the Marvel Universe with her fucking goofy ass mallet. <sighs> I wonder where that chocobo is. It's probably somewhere near the blue icon. I'm not going. I'm, I'm literally just running around exploring. It's an RPG. You got to grind that XP. Got to be ready for the, the final fight. Oh, my God. I'll show you what I can do. What can you do? Nothing. You can do it. All set. One more shot. Ow. Bring it. Okay. Take it over. Big counter. I think he means general DCU is better than Marvel. Let's finish. Are you talking about DC Comics? What do you mean DCU? Because when I say that, when I hear that, I, I'm thinking movies. I would strongly disagree with that. No time to celebrate. And, and the worst part is about the DCU is the best movies are not even a part of that universe. The Batman is a really good movie. And Joker, they're not even part of that universe. I said DCU. I think he means the, the, the universe in general. If you see, you got to say that the universe in general, and then I'm going to, then my counter argument is going to be, that's not even a fair, that's not even a fair, what's the word I'm trying to say? That's not even like a, a good faith argument. Now you're comparing the DC, the whole DC universe to the whole Marvel universe. The Marvel comic books are serious too. Like those, those are the, just the movies. There's plenty of serious Marvel stories. They, for some reason they made the movies all goofy. So that's not even a good faith argument. Comparing apples to oranges. DC's producing masterpieces like Peacemaker. Yeah, you lost me at that. While Marvel is making She-Hulk. Yeah, She-Hulk is ass, but I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You're not making like you're not making good arguments. You're you're, you're cherry picking. For every for every piece, because I know a lot of people do like Peacemaker. Personally, I didn't like that shit. But I, I'll give you that. A lot of people do like Peacemaker. But for every Peacemaker, there's a Blue Beetle. Stop, bro. Versus for every She-Hulk. There's a winter soldier. You know what I'm saying? Like those, you're not making good faith arguments. Just say, just say you have a bias. You like DC more. Complete. That is completely fair. You're allowed to like DC more. But if we're going, if we're going off numbers, like tit for tat, no, those are not good faith arguments. Punisher, Daredevil, Legion. That's what I'm saying. Like you can name plenty. Like what are you talking about? You nitpicking. Marvel had a whole decade run. You're not going to sweep that under the rug for She-Hulk. I, I give you, She-Hulk is ass. <laughs> but you can't, you can't sweep the, the whole decade under the rug. That's what, that, that's what I hate about the internet and, like, the recency bias. Yeah, they've dropped some duds recently. They definitely have. They've definitely dropped some duds recently. But you can't ignore the pass either. They still have more hits than misses. Aquaman Lost Kingdom, was it? Aquaman Lost Kingdom. Yo! Aquaman, I forgot that movie came out. Who saw that? Mr. DCU? <laughs> Aquaman lost. I yo, dude, that shit's so bad. 
I don't even, yo, I don't remember anybody talking about that on the timeline. That shit must have been worse than Madam Web. <laughs> Aquaman, the Lost Kingdom. Oh my God. Now I gotta look that up, bro. Anybody watch Cloak and Dagger? I didn't see it, but like I heard a lot of people like that show, the, the people that did watch it. I wasn't too familiar with the character, so it didn't interest me. Also, that shit was like swirling and shit. I don't know. I don't know. Swirl or the TV show. Finally, something something for exploring. What's this? It was lit on season two. The new Aquaman is better than the first one, in my opinion. Aquaman is just a hard movie to do, period. I don't know if, our, if in our lifetime we'll see a good, like a genuinely really universally loved Aquaman character. Uh, movie not because i don't like the character but more so like it's because the underwater aspect it's too much cg it's hard to suspend disbelief and, I, and that's an issue i think wakanda forever had too in the underwater scenes a lot of it looked like y'all remember when when it was it when shuri was diving underwater for the first time and she had that suit on that shit was ugly the graphics why can i not get in here what the fuck just a lot of that underwater stuff is hard to do oh i can climb right there Aqua, Aquaman, in my opinion, didn't try to take the best elements for both Black Panther and Thor movies. It just didn't succeed. True. Look, guys, I'm playing Skull and Bones. Woo! Triple, quadruple A. Now, why are we up here is the question. What the? I walked up there to go on a stripper pole? Oh, shit. Off topic, which countries are you most interested in, go in visiting? They're all African and Asian countries. Because I want to go to any country with good food. So that includes Ethiopia, Nigeria, Vietnam. Y'all know pho is like my favorite dish. I got to go to the motherland for pho. So we got to go to Vietnam. South Korea, Japan. Yeah, pretty much all Asian and African countries. South Africa. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm in a, Maybe I'm like the boat, but I've never in my life and still at 33 years old. I don't think it will ever change. Thailand. My dad's been to Thailand. He told me I need to go there. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Europe does not interest me at all. It doesn't like I, I don't know. Maybe Spain. That's about it. Because it's like the, <laughs> the one good place with some food. But uh, OK, I, you know, what? I'll give you Italy. I'll give you Italy. Nah, France doesn't interest me. France doesn't interest me. I'll give you Italy, though. Italy got good food. So Spain and Italy, that's about it. But France, no. I heard a lot of... No, nah, I'm not going to say nothing mean. I'm not gonna, let's just say I've seen a lot of TikToks about France, and they're not very favorable. Not very favorable. All the TikToks I've seen say that France is like America. They just speak French. And it's enough dirty ghetto cities in America, so I'm good off that. Uh, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a this must be like a story thing. Doors locked. I can't even go from the back thing. No beans and toast? Nah, no beans and toast for me, dog. I want to go where the good food at. Let's see. Anything back here? Guess not. All right, let's move towards the objective then. Do, do, do. Spain felt very American too. At least Madrid did. Madrid is an international hub. That makes sense. I mean, I, I, anytime you're like in an international hub, like a major city, I wouldn't say it feels American, but it, it, it probably feels more familiar because there's more people that speak English. A lot of different languages, really, because it's, what's the word? Multicultural, like the same thing would be true about like Seoul, uh, Seoul, uh, Seoul Korea or Tokyo, Japan. Like those cities are very different compared to uh, I don't know, an Okinawa or some shit like that. Because they're used to having more foreigners, so the the experience is gonna be a little bit different. Who mama is this? No, I'm not interested in South Park Snow Day for the millionth time, Ronin. I don't like tower defense games. Which McDonald's? There's another country you'd want to try. I don't like McDonald's, so first of all, I'm not going to any country to try McDonald's. I know the food is different in different countries, but I don't like McDonald's, so. I, I told that story. When we, went, when we went to Sweden, the first place, 
Yo, I swear to God, we went to Sweden, me and Ethos, for an event. We get off the plane. We we in we in Sweden, not even an hour. We put our bags in our hotel room. We was like, all right, let's explore the city. Where were we at? Stockholm. This nigga said, ooh, McDonald's. I'm like, this is why people hate America, bro. Like, <laughs> shit was embarrassing. I am not going. I'm not taking a flight across the ocean to eat McDonald's. So it's my turn? Yeah, it's your turn, shoddy. See, ability, spell. Wind! Staggered him, nice. Light work. Can't forgive Sweden for what they did. We can't forgive them. <laughs> Will you be streaming tomorrow? I hate I gotta leave. Yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Turn on notice. Turn on. I, I stream Monday to Fridays. Monday to Fridays. What the fuck is this? Oh, I'm glad I hit it. <laughs> I hit it first. What's that? Hey, come back. Come here. Hey, friend. Wish upon a star. Wish upon a... Where are you leading me to, friend? Oh, shit. Is that the area I came from? Hey! Oh, shit. How do I get down there? Wish upon a star. There's another one right there. Holy shit. Have you tried Haitian food yet? Nah, I don't know what Haitians eat. What do Haitians eat? And I'm not even trying to be mean. I don't know what they eat. The last time I asked that question, someone in the chat said they eat mud pies. And I was like, I, I, was like, I feel like you're being racist. I'm like, I don't... I couldn't tell if it was a joke or not. What the fuck is this? Oh shit, we found one of the tombs. Ezio's found a piece of Eden. Hit it! Oxtail? They eat oxtail? I mean, I've had oxtail. That's a, that's a, that's a Jamaican thing. It comes from Britain, but Jamaicans uh, made it what it is. What is this? Is that a puzzle? Fried pork. I'm not big on pork. These collectibles. I don't know, but I'm going to go hit that one at the top of the hill and see what happens. I'm going to stop uh, recording, just eating up hard drive space. Haitians and Jamaicans aren't too far off, so the food's similar. Okay. I feel like I would like the food, though. Let's follow it. That's bullshit. It's moving faster than me. You haven't gotten to that part of the story yet. It's story driven. Slow down. The golden plums. Yeah, it's got to be something story driven. Whatever. We'll come back to the golden plums later. That's good. There are things in the environment to explore. I need a chocobo, bro. Even slow. Mm, what's for dinner tonight? What y'all eating, man? I'm going to go for a jog after this. Do some push-ups. I got a new little ab roller thing I'm going to use. I like it, too. The one with the elbow pads on it. I thought it wasn't working. And then I woke up the next morning and I, I stretched and I, fe I felt it in my stomach right there. <laughs> I was like, oh, it does work. I was like, oh, shit. Turkey burgers with fries. Okay, okay, okay. How's the pull-up bar treating me? It's lit. It's lit. Coffee. For dinner? Yeah, you're wild. One. So what works? It's a, it's a, it's a ab roller I've seen on TikTok. And then I searched they had it on Amazon. It, it, it's an ab roller, but it has it has elbow pads that you rest. So then it just focuses on your core and takes the stress off your fucking shoulders, basically. And I felt like it was too easy at first. And then the next day I woke up, I was like, oh, it did work my core. <laughs> Most Haitians normally indulge in a diet consisting of rice, corn, millet, yams, and beans. So black people should. Gotcha. Real black people should. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm going to be told. Ooh, what's this? Protected by wolves. Well, well, well. Is this like a fast travel point or something? Let's beat the ass and find out. 
Bring it. Go on. Deal with that. Ow. See. I don't have any spells yet. It's your turn. Okay. Help her out. Yeah, pulling off the block is there. It is. You really got it. You want a button mash in this game, but you can't. You really gotta pay attention. Unbridled strength. I love how she basically becomes Iron Fist. Ah! Big counter. Yeah. Iron Fist mode activate. Spells. Hit him with the wind. Stagger. Put your bitch ass down. Have you ever eaten millet? I don't know what millet is. I don't even know I'm pronouncing that correctly. Basically the same as many most other Caribbean foods. It's a cultural thing I see. I'll be back. You guys don't have to follow me up. I have to follow you. I love you. Remember, we went on a date. Chicken gizzards. Kool-Aid. And Obama phones. Woo! It's like porridge is trash. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. What is this? You ever go to Mexico? Yeah, I might go next year. I live in California. That probably is Mexico. It pretty much is. That's right down the street. That's a cheap, especially because I'm closer. Like a flight to Mexico from California is much cheaper than a flight from Mexico from like DC because it's right down the street. That's like an hour, two hours, depending on where you go. Let's see where this takes us. This is definitely a game that's easy to get lost in. So you really didn't eat any Haitian food while you were in Florida? No, because there's not a lot of Haitians in Florida. No. They're in very specific areas. There's a lot of Haitians in Miami. But Florida as a whole, no. <laughs> I didn't live in Miami. Yeah, Austin is only six hours from the border. Yeah, when I was in Texas, that was the first time I ever seen a Mexican license plate. That was one of those moments I was like, I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, shit, that's what a Mexican license plate looked like. What the fuck? Yeah. He said, I got you. Yeah. There's a lot of dudes who have, like, wicks in Florida outside of Miami, but they're not necessarily Haitian. Definitely no Haitians in Orlando. Yeah, I was in Orlando. There was no Haitians there. There's a lot of, I think what it is, I think people perceive it to be that way because a lot of, a lot of black people in Florida have uh, locks. But, like, they're not all Haitians, though. That's a Miami thing. Crime Hills. Who, who who live in Crime Hills? Oh, Super Mario. I remember when I went to Mexico, they had random honey jars surrounded by bees all over the sidewalk. Why? What's, what's the reason for that? Don't go to Crime Hills, man. There's more Indians moving to New Jersey. What's the reason behind that? Peace out. Give me all that. Locate the treasure. Is that one? One of three. Nice. Potions. There's two. I saw a door opening right there. got to be over here then we're doing side quests this is how you play rpg chat you just run around you explore imagine not having the attention span to explore that's crazy children's hospital in philly i'm from philly i got a trophy all right we're moving on i'm from philly why would you say that Sam, why would you say that, bro? Mog. What's this? 
Bunch of Keebler elves live in here. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck these Keebler elves. It took me five hours to do every side thing in this area. I don't even know if I'm necessarily trying to do everything. I'm just literally running around seeing what's going on. Just trying to get a feel for the, the city, man. Trying to get a feel for the city. I thought there would be more fights. They definitely like kind of sprinkled throughout. There's a barn over there. I should probably go check out. Or oh, is that the place I came from with the chocobos? Do you think, do you read the meek tweets on stream? Nah, 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 nah. Expecting better than 16? This game's already better than 16. It's not hard to be better. That game sucks. I like seven remakes, so like, I already know I'm gonna like this game more than uh, 16. But yeah, so far it's already better. Yeah, this is the ranch. This is where I came from. Okay. So the question is, where's the chicken at again? The chicken is, what the fuck? Nigga. Where's that goddamn chicken at? What up, Ovi? What up, Cammy? Um, what? I have no clue with it. Nah, the area changes over time. Right now, it's low threat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no clue where to look for this chicken at. Just because we're in a beginner area. You got your vision pro on? Gotcha. This one's for you. All done. Light work. Laugh my ass up. I had it on yesterday. What you been using it for? Like now that it's been a couple weeks, you had it. The hype has died down. We're really not seeing any memes about the the Vision Pro. Like, what's the real review? Because you know, there's always the hype review. Everybody gets caught in the moment. Now, like, what are you using it for? Your your Apple Vision Pro. Your daily. What's your daily driver? How are you using that thing? Sometimes it's easy to get caught in the moment, especially when you're one of the few people on earth who can afford a $3,500 headset. It's very easy to get caught in the moment. First strike. You have bad takes, so you deserve to die. Mainly for content, I watched Love is Blind and was on Discord while with it yesterday. Huge screen is nice. It's like being in a home theater. Yeah, you really embracing the lifestyle. Sword Art Online. Go ahead and heal right here. Cushion. Imagine paying a monthly plan for $3,500 headset. Somebody did. Statistically speaking, somebody did finance that shit. Got a car on your face. Uh, I thought it was $350. If it was $350, I might have bought one. But $3,500? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> too, even too rich for my blood. Because I don't even think I can justify that being a tax write-off. I, I wouldn't use that for work. So, like, what am I going to spend that $3,500 for? I just paid my card off yesterday. Oh, wait, there's chickens over here. They got to be over here. I see chickens, guys. Bingo. We found Charizard. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Let's go back. How many hours are you in? Like two hours. In terms of story, I'm not far. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Y'all know Meek used to pray for times like this? To grind like that? As did he. Uh... Approach Pico without being noticed. Uh, if you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his uh, pack mates. Oh, he got a gang now. They said he ran away. They didn't say he had a gang now. <laughs> Yo, they should have really gave this chicken a do-rag. Uh, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. 
You can also detra- distract chocobos by throwing stones with L1 and square. We have Pico Gang. This is crazy. Operation Choke That Chicken. Did I lose already? Oh, no. Okay. He didn't spot me. Okay. Yeah, Pico Crip. The 12 month plan with the Apple card. They need to get a deal cut with the Apple. How the fuck do I get past him? Without being spotted by him. Can I just go around? I don't know about this one, chat. Fuck it. Watch him turn around as soon as I leave. Damn chickens. Okay, I got the checkpoint. I got the checkpoint. Yeah, we touching. Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Fuck Pico. He don't pay me enough to watch him. Fucking tired of this shit, bruh. Need a chicken union. Working me to death. This power look look nice. This the power update. I'm dead. Fuck. Pico, Pico! They pull it up! Daps! Man, run it back. Retry, retry. Yeah, he snitched, bro. What the fuck? Okay. If I roll, does it make noise? Okay, you can just roll. I'm overthinking it. Okay. Chicken got some terrible eyesight. Like he gave up too. Nigga don't pay me enough, man. I'm gonna go. Quit looking over here, Pico. We having pollo chicken sandwiches tonight. Big ass rock. Gotcha. Get your hands over here. Who touched me? I'm in a gang now. I can't go back. My gang beats me. Good bird. I've obtained two golden plums. You're my friend now. Here, I offer you a peace offering. Just the cutest. <laughs> he definitely in the gang. They playing rap music for the for the gangster bird. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. Can't <laughs> hey, nobody run me. What does he want now? If you want to be in a gang, you gotta get jumped in. He's still. Now let me hatch an egg on your head, nigga. Sorry. Oh, I, I put that on Gungaga's grave. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. This beat is crazy. I put that on Gungaga's game. Crave. Can I get on you? No. I might need to sample this right here, that beat. Riding chocobos, we riding chocobos, we riding, we riding, we riding, we riding, we chosen chocobos. First I choke my chicken, and then I ride my chocobo. You already know. Pulling up on my boat, boat chocobo. With my bros, letting it blow. Let's go, let go. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? This beat is ridiculous. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Not to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's had his fill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea. If we ask him nice. Make that right. 
I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? I stepped away. Is this music coming from the game? Yeah, we found the gangster bird. He, he was he was running a gang. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, Cloud. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. Who are you? You do remember me, don't you? No. Wait, is that the guy that taught us about um summons, I think? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. You shot the dark soul with the sub. Allowed me to it is, I remembered, I remembered. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Yo, shout out to Kalab with the sub. I didn't read my could mind. be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, Pokemon I trainer had asked ask if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. Ten ads is crazy. It's also crazy it's the last day of Black History Month and we ain't hit the sub goal. You wouldn't see them if you, you know, drop Since a sub. Time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them So I did discover something. I needed to finish. The more towers oh, you wow. activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might Assassin's Creed Tower construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Yo, shout out to Booty Watcher with the 25 gift is up. Da, 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 da. Might say something like shout out to Booty Watcher. I appreciate you, bro. Then. See that okay. tower? Can't let a black man fail on the last day of Black History Month. Y'all always complaining. We finally got 29 days. So. We'll activate it. Damn, so I found a I found a tower for no reason. Allow me to accompany you. Alright, Pinocchio, let's do it. 30 minutes to the spawnies. True, true, true. Can I go up there? Here we are. Hit the button. Let's get it. Hmm. Is it raining? Who in LA? Is it raining? It was kind of raining a little bit this morning. That's the power of the AMD Ryzen CPU. Can't do that with Intel. Does era 2000 mean my internet All sucks? I'm about to switch soon. I don't know what that means. And natural resources. I've never heard of that. I'm late. I have my notifications off. Damn. At least you admit to having your notifications off. People be acting like they don't have them off. <laughs> These really are fucking uh, Assassin's Creed towers. Oh my god. Consideration. I have devised a new name for this type of. Well, at least it tells you where stuff is on the map. I call it World Intel. Yeah, yeah, Assassin's Creed Towers. You'll assist me in gathering How's the game so far? It's good, it's good, it's good. Completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. Come but before out. that, is there anything you would like to ask? We have an Towers, the combat simulator, specific intel related tests, nothing. What about combat simulator? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. I'm on Safari. That's I don't have that block at all. Or my combat. You really are an Apple drone. You use the Safari the web browser? <laughs> That's crazy. You are really in the ecosystem. Keep it up to date with I, I don't want a good web browser. I like Apple. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends like surrounding that 90s web browser. In fact, after pouring over stories from the ground, got Internet Explorer too. I have finished implementing a new I used one. to use Chrome, but the privacy Chrome stuff was concerning. Was use Brave. That's what I use. It blocks all trackers and ads by default. You don't need ad blocker. It's the whole thing is about privacy. 
In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. Brave web browser. And it's the fastest web browser. Does anyone want to use Opera? I've been thinking about trying Opera GX. Does anybody use it? Supposedly it's good for gaming. Which of these would you like? See fire and ice materia. Autocast allows an ally to automatically use spells with the link materia when not affected. To morph enemies when your health is fall below. Your sneak belly is not actually controlled. We're not actually controlled. We'll do that one. Well, it does. So does Safari in the ecosystem, I guess. And mainly my save passwords is always why I use it. You save your passwords in the web browser, Cam? You really trust I Apple? Wish you all the best in the long You're the first person. Who else do that, chat? Y'all save y'all passwords in the web browser? Should you require assistance, just ask. Y'all brave. <laughs> y'all really trust them. It's with uh, Apple. You really trust them, huh? I save all mine in the web. Hell no. Nah. I use I use Bitwarden. It's a it's an open source security uh, program. I do not save my shit in the web browser. That's funny. You talking about? Oh, I use it for security, but then you save your passwords in the web browser. <laughs> yeah, y'all ask it to get hacked. It's encrypted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whatever Apple tells you must be true. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Is the convenience? I know it is. Just say that. Just say that. Just say that. Oh, I got check my bed. See the new adult swim, Ninja Konami. Nice. Nah, this motherfucker gone. My chicken ready. Damn it. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first. Here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Press R1 to use your chocobo and summon your bird. So, who here's never been on chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. She's gonna learn how to ride that chicken, hmm? <laughs> trillion dollar company with tons of rich people buying their products i feel like they could get the security down i don't know like if, i just think if your argument is truly security it's important to keep your safe keepings in like separate areas that that security but if you keep it all in one area the reason that's not secure all it takes is one breach versus if you have your things in multiple areas if one thing gets breached you'd be like oh well at least this is safe you know what i'm saying well, you can't make the argument about security. That's not really that secure. But if you like, if you want to just be honest and say it's convenient, then I'm not mad at you. Listen, I keep my passwords on a separate, open source, encrypted app. We get our birds in shape for the races. What race? If somebody steals your laptop, you're fucked. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon. You can't talk about. You said that's a good point. You can't like you can't talk about security if all your if all your your personal belongings are tied to like one email, like the Apple ID thing. Like for me, like my PayPal, right? Because like a lot of content creators, their PayPal's be getting hacked and shit. My PayPal is linked to an email that is not public that nobody knows. I would never put tbh at giupdates.tv on my fucking. You see what I'm saying? Like we're if we're really talking about security. <laughs> Whatever, Raina. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Alright, let's call it Pico. Oh yeah, I started changing some of my email. Yeah, like you gotta do like practical stuff like that. So I would say I would say you don't have to do it for everything. But I would say like stuff that you really care about, like your bank accounts and shit like that, tie every single one. I know it's fucking annoying but tie every single one of them to something completely different. That way, if one gets hacked, all of them don't get hacked. You see what I'm saying? That That's security 101. This way. Like, I remember there was like, maybe like five, six years ago, because for those unaware, there's good and there are bad hackers. Like five or six years ago, 
the entire GI got hacked. And guess who didn't get hacked? <laughs> guess who didn't get hacked out the group? <laughs> the good news is it was a viewer. He was a good hacker and he gave like advice like, hey, you guys need to do this, that, and the third to secure your accounts. But then he admitted to JG and Ace. He was like, I couldn't get TBH. Niggas is not gonna get me. <laughs> oh shit. Niggas is not gonna get me, that's why. Yeah, this is Final Fantasy with Sephiroth. Which way am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to just speak to him. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I hate I hate concerns that do that out of concern. Hey, I'd rather it be a good one. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Use the training grounds on Bill's ranch to get the hang of the chocobo riding. Dash with the okay. And then circle to jump. Two factor on everything, different passwords on everything. If you're using two-factor, make sure you're using a code generator. Don't even use two-factor on your phone is not good. That shit is not secure. All it takes is somebody to call your uh, your provider and get your shit took. I lost the password to my phone. Am I going the right way? I'm not. I fucked up. No. Chocobo racing. Woo. Bro, I want to show you in fact I could touch you. Hey, just be happy it was one of the good ones and not one of the diabolic ones. And then even the diabolical ones, a lot of them be they don't even be hackers. They be kitty scripters. They don't even be on nothing. I'm gonna do that again because I fucked up on that turn. That was something else. Oh, I guess you not. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. I was actually surprised when I saw in G4 seeing that it was your first time playing San Andreas. You, I thought you would have fucked with it. I've talked about this a million times, Ronan. The reason, the reason I'm not a big fan of Grand Theft Auto, and I've never played San Andreas or like Vice City. I played like a little bit of three, like at a friend's house. I played all three of them, like a little bit, like at friend's house, but I never like sat down and played and beat them. It's because my parents loved me. I was a kid when those games came out. I was only allowed to play Nintendo games. I, I grew up playing Mario. And then on the PlayStation side, Jack and Dexter. That's why I love like cartoony games. It speaks to my inner child. I didn't grow up playing San Andreas because those games were rated M and I was a kid when it came out. It came out in 2004, I think, San Andreas. I was either 13 or 14 around the time that came out. My parents didn't allow me to play that shit and I listened to my parents. So. Honestly, she hasn't been herself. It's contrary to what a lot of you niggas think, it's not normal to play those games as a kid. You're not supposed to be fucking hookers at 12. <laughs> On, Same with me. Yeah, I didn't get to play a lot of that shit till like high school. By that time, it was too late. So like, that's why I'm not a big fan of Grand Theft Auto. I just didn't grow up with it. It doesn't mean I hate it. I just don't have an affinity towards it. The first like Grand Theft Auto game I remember playing was Saints Row, and that's why I like Saints Row because that came out when I was in high school, like in the Xbox 360. Then I was old enough to play this shit. I also like Saints Row more than Grand Theft Auto because it was silly. I always felt like Grand Theft Auto took itself too seriously. Uh, certain settlements will have notice boards with citizens in need of help with jobs. You know, a bunch of side quests. Si super side quests, I call them. Side hustles. Woo! So when you get off your 9 to 5, come do some side hustles and fucking Final Fantasy, baby. All right, you guys are poor. I'm not. So I'm going to get on my chicken. I'll see you. Oh, they get them too? Man, fuck you. Yeah. Well, this is much better for travel. The open world is not that bad now. Oh, your chocobo berry treasure is nearby. Oh. I grew up in an African house. Lord Jesus let a gun go off in a game I'm cooked. <laughs> and why is your head like that? Dude? Is that a baby chicken? These tough little chicks will lead you to chocobo stops. Oh, what's up? Chocobo gang.
That motherfucker was getting on Grand Theft Auto at 10 years old and picking up hookers and going into a corner and fucking them and then killing them. That shit is not normal. Oh, these are chocobo stops for like rest. I thought these were save points. I need to go find that tower again now that I can actually use it. Uh, how do I open up the map? There we go. Boom. Oh, there's one right there. Activate the tower in the swamplands now. Moogle Intel. Is that the... No, that's just random intel. I think that's where the tower was. Oh, you can't drop... A, oh, you can drop a pin. There we go. Let's drop a pin. All right, let's open up all these Assassin's Creed towers. Big-ass map. Yeah, I mean, if you run through the story, I read it takes like 30-some hours, but the average playthrough is probably going to be like 50 if you do some of the side quests. It's, it's an RPG, you know. Don't complain. Y'all always complaining about a lack of content. We got some content. That's funny because I saw a post saying this generation they weren't able to play GTA. They're going to be able to buy it when 6 comes out. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. When I have kids, they're not going to be able to play that shit either. I'm not letting them play that. Like, I think I I strongly believe we should let kids be kids. I do believe in it. Your mind ain't fully developed. There's certain things you don't need to see until, you know, a certain age or you have a conversation with people. Put your old ass out the way. Big chocobo. Yeah, now now the open world is not that bad. Now we got cars. This is what hell divers too need. And they don't got stamina on the chickens? Say less. Alright. This is what Starfield needed. <laughs> yeah, see now I don't mind exploring. We finna go touch everything in there. Yeah, that's where we were. Uh, nah, I agree. There's something to not, not not being able to get immediate access to that. Oh, it's the forbidden fruit concept. People people want what they can't have. That's why a lot of times people are attracted to people that don't want them back. You might not necessarily even like that person like that. It's just the idea that you can't have them. People get obsessed with them. That's why you got to not give a fuck. The question is, how the hell I get down there? Oh, I thought she fell off. I was going to say, what the hell? Say, yo, chill. <laughs> Did that hit, that hit a little too close to home? Let me get off this, see if I can go down there. No. How the fuck do I... I got to go all the way around? Get your ass over here. I wish I could have her, but I can't. I can't. She wants a rapper. <laughs> she wants a baller. And I am, in fact, not a baller. Oh. She said if I can't get her Apple Vision Pro, you're not worth my time. Some bullshit. All this damn elevation. This is a chicken. Can't they, like, float down? Yeah, my mom said I didn't let me play Call of Duty until I got older. Call of Duty didn't become popular until I was in high school, so that was never really like a conversation. Honestly, I wasn't even into shooters when I was a kid. The only shooter I remember playing heavily as a kid was probably Goldeneye. I gotta go around. God damn, man. But yeah, I, shooters when played a little bit of Halo, but like I wasn't super into it. Yeah, keep in mind too, that's before competitive gaming was a thing too. So like multiplayer gaming, we played we played multiplayer games for fun. <laughs> I know, right? Crazy concept. Play them hoes for fun. Just hop on. Like just trying to be the best in your friend group. It was like a joke if you said you were MLG. Like, alright, so you're broke. <laughs> True life, MLG. Following T squared. And the graphics were ass. I don't know about that. At the time, the graphics were good. Like you, you do realize like the, the graphics argument is is irrelevant because like like this game, right? Twenty years from now, this game somebody's gonna say this game looks like ass, and I'm gonna say no, it doesn't. It looks good for its time. 
Yo. All right, how do I... This map is a little bit harder to navigate than I thought. Okay, I think if I go up this road, it'll let me do it. And then the shooters I did play, I remember they were like single player, like time splitters. Time splitters 2, that shit was fire. Goldeneye, that was local. Oh, was, I played it more for the story. Um, I want to think. What other shooters were there? Um, Freedom, I remember, was it called Freedom Fighters? That was a third person shooter. I used to love that game. But that was a story game. That was a, that was a story game. Was that what that game was called? You remember that, Freedom Fighters? It was on GameCube and PlayStation 2. It was like Russia invaded and you can, you can control soldiers to take back America and shit. Yeah, that game was fire. That was the type of shooters I played. Is this it? There we go. Get off the fucking chicken. It was multiplayer too? I don't remember. Eh. If my kids wanna if my kids are showing which you know but I don't have any kids because sex before marriage is inappropriate. But if I had kids and they saw me playing games and they showed interest and they asked to play, I'd be like, sure, you wanna be a gamer? You ain't playing this shit. This is for adults. When you get older, maybe, we can play you and I'ma boot up Kirby, Super Mario. <laughs> we can play some Mario Odyssey, that's what we can play. What's that new Peach game coming out? We can play that. Bluey. I don't care what your friends is playing. Staggered. You're done. Time no time to Get out of here. Peppa Pig. <laughs> nah, no man. My father had me on Need for Speed and Tony. I know those are good games. Yeah, you can play some Need for Speed, Tony Hawk, Forza. There's plenty of options for kids to play. What if Aki wants to play? He can play Bluey. Kingdom Hearts was the one game, kids game I love playing. I wouldn't let my, I mean, if my kid wanted to play Kingdom Hearts, I'd let him because it's not like super violent. But like, I would try to steer him away from it just because like, I don't want their head to hurt, you know? Like, this shit doesn't make any sense. And honestly, I'm not trying to be up at like, get knocked upside the head at three in the morning. Daddy, why is Sora fighting Mulan? <laughs> oh my God, bro. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> I just don't want him to get a brain buster, you know? <laughs> Oh shit, Daddy! Why is why is Woody break dancing with fucking Tarzan? <laughs> I don't know. This way. this way, we got a tower. Hey, little guy! <laughs> Bad you can't catch him. What's up, friend? Can we just admit the game's graphics would have complement the aesthetic style of the world? Everything doesn't have to look well, obviously. Um, do we have any more towers we need to get? I I didn't even go to the right tower. What the fuck, bro? I didn't even go to the right. <laughs> I went to a completely different tower. That's funny. I'm all the way over here. God damn. Oh no. I mean, I could run to this tower. Can we mark it? Let's run into there and see what happens. I'm gonna chug a bar. She ain't scared to pot that. Pot that all on the floor. Oh, I'm already here. Might as well heal. Thank you. Use the rest cushion. No, just sit down. Oh, you have to use it. Why do you have a coconut on your ass, dude? Did the chicken just die? What the hell? Would you let them play Final Fantasy? Eh. I don't think Final Fantasy is that violent, but like it's not like bloody. But I don't know. Maybe wait till teens. This one maybe. Yeah, actually nah, because yeah, Sephiroth was slaughtering villages and shit. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. 
Depends on which one. Yeah, the concept of a Pokemon is literally slavery. You just dress it up, try to act like that's not what it is. Make sure we're going the right way here. We gotta turn inward. It's over the mountain, it looks like. How do we get over there? I don't know where the fuck I'm at, but I'm there. Where are we going? Okay, we are going the right way, I think. We just opening the map up. That's rule number one with these open world ass games. Area of interest discovered. Okay. Alert! Alert! Huh? Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. Who does Tekken 8 ass character? <laughs> I am your personal monster assessment instrument. Pokemon, Pokedex. You can call me mine. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analysis. Yeah, lucky Chloe's back. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. I'm not gonna fight them. Here the biological data that we require. You'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. Somebody was asking, is the, is the combat complex? There you go. So she can analyze it. I think Halo Reach was the first M rated game I copped. That was a good game. The ever vigilant move possesses an incredible memory. Good ass game. I don't care. Shut up. I'm just trying to get to the checkpoint. I'm trying to open the map up so I can see what, you know, just start cleaning up the map. I'm going. How the fuck you get over this mountain? Also, Mortal Kombat is the reason for the ESRB. Yeah, I know. Because all the kids were buying it up. Okay, guys. Gloves up. Now nah, nobody Rare is. Identified. Eh, let's, let's fight. Whatever. The ever vigilant move possesses an incredible memory. Pressure both fire and ice and use. Stagger an enemy. Defeat enemies within the time limit. We'll track you down in order to what up, Wilsey? The blue have a massive underground network in which they exchange information on food sources and enemies. Well, you gotta stagger them before you can damage them. Which one is that? C? Did that other one die? There he is. He went underground. Let's do this. Spell fire. There it is. Now we on your ass. Staggered. That be Final Fantasy 16. Nah, fuck that game. One down. Oh, are they all ice? Say less. They're changing elements. I think. Pressure both fire and ice and blue. Okay, so we're gonna switch to Tifa now. Spell Blizzard. There it is. Boom. Oh, wait, that didn't count? Pressure both fire and ice and beauty. Whatever, dude. Well, you're always welcome to make another attempt. Whatever, dude. More like, did you watch? <laughs> right, did you watch Final Fantasy 16? I certainly did not. I got tired of watching that shit. I turned it off. 
I, I will say, like, the beginning of the game is a little slow. It's very cutscene heavy. But once you get into the open world, the game opens up and it just becomes a game. That's why I like this game more than fucking 16. What's the major difference between this and 16? The story is better. As you can see, it's an actual game. Hey, when mission have missions with time limits, yeah. You're trying to force me to play all perfect and shit. Oh, I think this is where we was at where dude was like, we need to get a boat or something. Is that how you get across over there? I see chickens. Can we swim? Is the crossing the swamp. For the chocobo, okay. Just trying to get over there, man. Got Pidgeotos and shit. Be sure this is safe. Earth pocket to the bog are damn near bottomless. Plus, there's that giant man-eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobo. <laughs> the man-eating serpent. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Yeah, have some faith, nigga. Yeah, yeah. All right. See, so, damn, it's an actual game. It's crazy. It's an actual game, right there, crazy. Uh, that looks like it's a little far. There's some purple shit over there. Let's go over there. Now I feel like I'm about to run into some bullshit. Yep. Oh, a weathered witch. Over there. Oh, he hallucinated. PTSD. What? Yeah, this motherfucker going crazy. Come on. Steve is like, I don't see anything. What are you talking about? She does a rock. Do you? No, I don't. Huh? Man, see? Look, Kingdom Hearts invading the game, ruin it with all these damn goblins and shit. Whatever. Oh, fight? What's up? You're dead. <laughs> Ow. I'm almost done, buddy. I'm almost done. Get ready. Yeah. Trying to put some pressure on him. Ooh, squirted on her. Fuck this squirrel. Damn. Light work. Give me what you got. Little pork chop. Who said that shit? <laughs> Give me what you got for a pork chop. Huh? JG would know. JG would know. Let me see. Let me see. Been a while since I saved. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I got three hours of playtime on the game, level 18, nothing too crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta get up. I gotta end the stream.